Headsets, oh god. Camera's not on. Oh jeez. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, you guys. Thank you for joining on this beloved. That really quick. Um, okay. So today, you guys, we have a special edition of the Soul Stream, which means I'm gonna be eating some food. Whoa! And then we'll play some games, I promise. Uh, let me go ahead and just, I'm not sure exactly how loud the volume is, so I'm going to turn the master volume down just a bit low so that, you know, you can at least hear me. Uh, we'll be talking. If you want to come and hang out, watch me eat food, hey, <laughs> feel free. If not, that's okay too, you guys. I understand. I hope you're all having a good day. Uh, feel free to come back in about, I don't know, maybe half an hour, hopefully a little less. Uh, but I should be done with my uh, chicken and biscuit. Uh, okay, let's see. So I'm sitting like this. See what I look like in the camera? It's cutting off way too much head. So we'll just flip that up a little bit. I did finally do my hair a little differently. So I have a little scrunchie here. And I pulled back some of my bangs so they're not all in my face. Which, of course, some of them will still be in my face. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Blue? You're the first in the channel. And Tigden coming in with that super, super close second. Let me check the tablet. Super, super close second ticked in. What's up, Blue? Sky Blue? I'm digging the name change. Woo, woo! You are the first in the channel. And ticked in. What's up, dude? Happy Friday, you guys. Um, I do have just a really quick special, not special, but um, okay, I'm going to eat food. That's different, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't usually eat food on stream. I'm going to go into the just chatting category to do it too. Um, so I apologize for the inconvenience. I was in Discord earlier. I was telling everyone, okay, I'm on time. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to do the early stream. Yeah, we'll get it done. And unfortunately, every day is not the same around here. Uh, my mom had taken off to the cemetery to go leave flowers for my grandma um, up over at her grave and stuff. And so I didn't know what time she was going to come back. I thought she would be back uh, a little later and uh, so you know I'd be able to jump on stream real smooth transition wouldn't have to help with groceries <laughs> nothing like that you know because she's gonna hit up Walmart afterwards and so unfortunately I mean it's oh, it's okay whatever it happens uh, my mom got home a little bit earlier and she did bring food and I can't resist food so it was either I eat it off stream and and like even a half hour or an hour later than we are now or I just eat it on stream and, and call it good <laughs> So I'm going to call it good. We'll eat it really quick, uh, and then we'll switch back to the Fallout category, you guys. Yay! But it's very good to see everybody, and we can talk about anything you want. Anything you guys want at all is fine. Oh, nice. Ooh. Um, I do want to say, Blue, I love you a lot, but I do have a rule where it says um, I don't want to really talk about people's streams. Uh, or I don't really want to hear them mention it. I know it's horrible to say, but I had a big old issue with that yesterday, and I decided that I'm just going to start banning people that start talking about their stream. And I know it sounds rude and all that. I know it sounds harsh, but if you guys saw me on stream yesterday before I deleted the VOD, <laughs> I was mad. I was really, really mad at that person. Um, so yeah, if you guys, if anybody could just please not talk about their streams, that would be awesome. If you do, I will have to time you out. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, but if that person gets timed out or banned or whatever, and they send me a nice apology, or, you know, they just say I'm sorry for doing that, um, I'll unban them and I'll be like, all right, I'll just forget that ever happened. But yeah, the person yesterday, dude, they were like adamant about how it was my fault, that I misunderstood, that they said that they were streaming, stuff like that. Like, I wasn't talking about my stream, and literally, they were talking about their stream. It's like, what? I don't know, it's just... And the thing with apologies and stuff is that... I know it's like... people. Some people are like, that's not important, who cares about an apology? But to me, it's like, it's one of the easiest and most polite things you can do if you offend someone. Yes. Oh no, what's going on with Twitch, Tigden? Whoops! Get out of here, there's a fly! Yeah, the food or the uh, game can wait. But yeah, you guys, so if I'm a little bit harsh, if somebody says like anything about them streaming, um, 
I apologize. I do apologize, but I am going to just time people out. Uh, I'll purge comments. I might not ban right out just because, you know, when you ban somebody, it's it's pretty pretty harsh. Well, depending. If I don't know the person very well, like it's their very first time in chat, and that's the first thing they say is like, follow me, then I'll ban their ass. We'll get them, you guys. We'll bop them. But if it's somebody we know, which it has been a lot lately, it's like a lot of these older friends that I used to have from the past, they're coming back and they're like, well, now I'm starting streaming again. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, that's nice for you, but I've been like streaming sporadically this whole time. I've never seen you in here. I mean, come on. It's, it's just weird. It's weird. Oh, weird. I hate hearing about other people's streams. And it took a while to get that way, though, unfortunately. <laughs> I know. Sorry about that, Tickton. I always get so mad about that. It's because it's the good people, like the friends that I have had for years and stuff. Like Blue, I've known Blue for years. And uh, I shouldn't be that angry, definitely. But um, it's just, it happens like almost every stream. It happened last stream. It happened this stream now. Literally the first person I was like hyping him and stuff. <laughs> oh crap. That's why we shouldn't talk and eat. <laughs> Somebody clipped that. Soul almost died. Almost choked. I never talk and eat. <laughs> purple! Purple! I need the Hamlet maneuver. <laughs> Self Heimlich. You know what? I'm suing KFC. I almost choked on their chicken skin. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's hilarious. That was hilarious. Well, anyways, how are you guys doing? What's up? What are you guys up to? Besides streaming. <laughs> no, but honestly, if you guys want me to know that you started casting again or you're coming back to streaming, because it happens all the time. Like, Blue is in here. He can't stop talking about his damn streaming. Not Blue. Oh, sorry. Sorry, not Blue. <laughs> we have two Blues. So we have Go Blue LA and we have Blue Sky right now. Um, right now, I'm talking about Go Blue LA. Go Blue LA is somebody that I new since year one of streaming you guys year one and we were good friends and stuff I would I would think but then he disappeared right he just ghosts out of nowhere which is fine I ghost out of nowhere too but the thing is a lot of people ghost out of nowhere and then they come back as if nothing ever happened you know like you guys are still supposed to be best friends and stuff and for me um I'm kind of I don't know I'm not like that too much if I don't see somebody for a long time I uh I, it's kind of like the sims where if you don't see your friend and even your significant other in The Sims, that bar starts to go down slowly, 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 till it starts depleting, right? And it becomes just a regular acquaintance or sometimes you don't even know that Sim anymore. You're like, hi, you know? And that's kind of how I am too, where if somebody ghosts on me for months and months or even years, which this person, this other streamer did, um, you know, if they come back, it's going to be like, hey, it's good to see you and stuff. But I don't want to hear about, you know, their grind and their hustle and what they're trying to. Oh, I'm, I'm getting back into Twitch and streaming again. I'll be in your stream all the time to talk about it. You know, and I get that vibe and stuff. I'm like, I would never go into your stream, even if I was gone for years to tell you that I started streaming again. That's rude. That is rude. And, uh. It blows my mind, too, that people don't think that that's rude to do. Like, why would another streamer want to hear about somebody's stream? And, and that's like the first thing that comes out of their chat mouth. <laughs> oh god. The oh, horrors. <laughs> sort of hard to Heimlich from Minnesota. Yo, what's up, Aislinn? What up? Resting as pain. Oh no. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for bugging me, Tignan. You're one of the good guys, dude. <laughs> I, and it's even people that don't have webcams do that too, Purple. I, I hate it. I hate that it bothers me, though. I, it just bothers me because it is the people I know, like Blue and Blue. They're good people, but. It's like, come on. What Twitch streamer would want to hear? I don't know. I don't know any Twitch streamer, at least the ones that I watch, that want to hear about other streamers. Because you guys might be better streamers than me. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole hard truth. If we're being honest about it, you know. I'm not the best streamer, you guys. I do have to work at this. I have to at least try to be funny. 
<laughs> the hilarity does not come naturally. <laughs> I wish it did, no. It does sometimes, but sometimes I have to like think of the, like these sarcastic comments and stuff to add to the game. I don't know. And some people are just naturally hilarious and they probably are better streamers. I would wanna, you know, let them find their own following. They will eventually, you know, find their own way and stuff. They don't need to come into other people's chats and be like, all right, follow me. I mean, that's a good way to do it, but that's also the way that gets banned and unfortunately excommunicated in Twitch now. No, not really, it's not that bad. Nobody cares that much. Oh, nice, air conditioner got fixed. Woo, woo, Ace Man. Uh-oh. But yeah, we'll be doing some Fallout 76 in a bit too. I mean, Fallout 3, Fallout 76, what am I talking about? Mm -hmm. Yesterday we did the Republic of Dave, um, and the day of the stream before we did Ten Pennies Tower, which I'm still a little bit mad about. With Roy Phillips, he broke our promise. He said he wasn't gonna kill anybody. And then I come back, Ten Penny himself is dead. I'm like, dude, I wanted to ask the old man some questions. What the heck? Roy Phillips? How dare. <laughs> Thank you, Jigden. I do, purple. Okay, so I haven't told you guys yet, but I did jump back onto Fallout 76. It's true. And I was hanging around my campsite. I messed with my inventory a little bit, so uh, I'm not over encumbered at the moment. Yeah. And unfortunately, my inventory is still crazy. I have a lot of extra junk in Fallout 76 that I haven't. Uh, put away in the right spot yet you know I just kind of threw it to the side for a bit um, in that stash box or whatever it is so I have been running around in Fallout 76 I saw the new quests that popped up um, I didn't go to any of them but they do have quite a few new Wastelander quests in Fallout 76 so I'm thinking that's kind of interesting it's it's pretty good now I heard Tigden especially with the Wastelander update But yeah, I do apologize for being a little bit late to the early stream. I wanted to be on at 2, and because uh, I woke up a little late, I got to not have coffee after like 5 p.m. or 9 p.m. Because <laughs> I was up at like 5 in the morning just staring at the wall, staring at the ceiling. Why can't I stop thinking? <laughs> stop thinking! Twas good, escapee is twisted. Well, I hope you can see I'm holding the food up a little bit so y'all know I'm eating and stuff just in case you think I'm frauds for being in the just chatting category. I am being a little bit slovenly though, it's fine. I eat with my fingers. <laughs> I even have my paper plate today. We're going super old school. Yeah, let's beast it all out. <laughs> mukbang videos. Mmm, delicious mukbang. But yeah, I would have been on a little bit earlier. Like I said though, mom came home. And unfortunately, <laughs> I had to help her with, you know, some groceries and stuff. So that pushes everything down a little bit farther. But I told everyone on Discord. I was like, hold on, you guys. <laughs> yeah, true, Tigden. I was like, I'll jump on or I'll eat some food. I know other people do it sometimes too, so I might as well. <laughs> and it's good to see you guys today, definitely. Definitely, definitely. But yeah, I'm going to try to not let that self-promotion thing get to me. It really does. That's the one thing that bothers me. And uh, I've been looking away, you know, like turning the other cheek for so many years that like now it's like I can't turn the other cheek when I see somebody talking about their stream. I want to get mad at them and I hate doing that. I don't want to be like that, but it's just happened recently. It even happened today. I mean... Just like we've been streaming, what, 14 minutes and I already had somebody that was a good per a good friend and stuff just mention that they streamed and now I can't stop thinking about it. And I didn't think about it at all before. <laughs> this always happens just during stream too. I can't believe it. <laughs> it's finger food, true that. It'd be kind of weird if I had my uh, butter knife and my fork in my tongue. <laughs> How about turning both cheeks? I did. I have no more cheeks to turn. Even the bottom cheeks got turned, dude. <laughs> um, nah, I'm just messing. I'm just messing, guys. 
So what's everybody's Friday looking like? Anybody have plans for the weekend? I certainly do not. Um, I think I will be streaming at least part of the weekend, so that'll be good. I'm not sure if I'll be doing like the two casts. I might just do one long stream tomorrow night. Or we'll see. Sometimes I uh, build my streaming around other streamers. Because <laughs> I like their shows too. There are definitely, definitely streamers that I love watching as well. Oh, I'm trying to see. What's up, Blackwire? Is that song lyrics? Now I'm feeding on my own in my bedroom. No, <laughs> it's definitely not the song. Looking at my phone, should I text you? I don't want to sext you. I just want to bless you, baby. I'm a priest in the underworld. Guess who little Bo Peep with a brand new flow? Tooth looking at my teeth like you never seen gold. Tooth never in the streets, cause I never leave my home. If you wanna live a dream, I ain't coming, bitch. I told you. No, I have no idea. I just read that. <laughs> I just read Blackwire's lyrics. I have no idea what song that is. <laughs> oh, it's goth rap. Now I'm fading in my own bedroom. Now I'm looking at my phone. Should I text you? I don't want to sex you, I just want to bless you. Baby, I'm a priest in the underworld. Guess a little bow peep with a brand new flow. Looking at my tooth like you never seen gold tooth. Never in the streets, cause I'll never leave my home. If you want to live a dream, I ain't coming. Bitch, I told you. There you go, is that better? <laughs> There's some goth rap right there. Let me just pull my, my hair over my eyes a little bit more and get my eyeliner back out. <laughs> Next up, Soul Twitch Sings. <laughs> I had no idea what that song was. Are oh, you playing Steel Di what's Steel Division about Ace? Got it on sale during the stream sale, which was going on recently too. Oh, sorry, Blackwire. I did get that link though. I see it. I'm gonna oop my chicken. I'm lick my fingers. Uh, copy that. Excuse my chewing too. Oh great, message about Trump. That's the, uh, oh it's Lil Peep. Oh I know who Lil Peep is. Oh, rest his soul. Dude, um, one of the songs, I'll listen to that later. I don't want to get in trouble with TOS, TOS. Um, a song that I know that Lil Peep is featured in, but I don't think he, he was not live at the time, but it's on the radio and stuff. Uh, I think it's called I've Been Waiting by I Love McConnell featuring Fall Out Boy and also featuring Lil Peep's voice. Ah, been waiting, I've been waiting, I've been waiting up, cause I can't get enough, no, I feel I'm waiting. When the music starts, Needle stirs my heart. Oh, fuck me up and make me just go crazy. Addicted to the pain that I just made me love. Being in for the touch of something, something. Are the only one that I want. Anyways, that's the song that I know. And that is what made me start looking into Lil Peep and his story and his unfortunate, um, unfortunate end to his life and stuff. So, Aceman says that, let's see what the game is called again. Something Steel, right? Steel, Steel Division is a World War II type strategy, strategy game. Cool. Hmm. Very interesting. You're defending against the Soviets. Ooh. Kick them, the Russians, butts. <laughs> I'm kidding. All the Russians in chat are like, what? Let's go slow, we're gonna fight. I'm sorry. So right now I'm eating some chicken. It is from, I don't wanna like, you know, I'm not an advertising person or anything. It is from a certain chicken place <laughs> that has three letters. Um, it's good. Uh, I let it get cold, so. Oh, sorry, I'm eating a crumb. Three second rule. Uh, I let it get cold, so it's a little bit, you know, soft and squiggly. I choked 
for part of it during the stream. Part of me believes that's probably karma <laughs> for not allowing people to self-promote in channel. Because uh, that's what I was talking about when I started choking. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yes, I love it, Bachwarm. Break my heart, but don't tell me I'm not doing fun, cause I'm doing fun. Let me go, I'm spending time, not doing fun, but I'm doing... Let me... Alright. Why are you acting vain for my love? Vain for my love. You got everything that I want. <laughs> Why are you acting vain? Yeah, I love Fall Out Boy too. Yep, yep, yep. That's one of the reasons I really like that song as well. They're in it. Yes! I wanna drink my wine, I wanna pass that by, I wanna make her cry, she wanna make me die. Apple pie, six cigarettes, then I'll catch the vibe that we can't forget. Why you act in vain for my love, vain for my love, without everything that I want. Why you act in vain for my blood, vain for my blood, without everything that I want. Why you act in it's hard to miss you when you are always on the tip of my tongue. Ba, ba, I feel like I'm looking for something, something that'll never come. Ba. I do have that song uh, on my iPod, Shh. and I do sing it in the car. Shh. Yes, I do know the lyrics. <laughs> oh my god, we're having some high school flashbacks, dude. Next up, NSYNC. Hey, hey. Psh. Ba, 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 ba. No, I'm kidding. Totally joking. That'd be awful. I did grow up with a lot of NSYNC and Backstreet Boys, though. And I have much love for them. <laughs> I'll admit it. I'm not ashamed. Um, I, I did used to listen to a lot of NSYNC as well. Just, I'm thinking about Ace Men talking about high school and stuff. I'm like, mm, back in high school, I was. Well, actually, I think I was already outgrown the NSYNC and Backstreet Boys day by high school. <laughs> See, that's an awesome one, Blackbear. I do not know that song. I'll be honest. You'll only see us in the back, Goth Lloyd Click. All black, now I knew love once. It's hard to forget. I thought of you nights when I spent back against the wall. <laughs> I thought of her highly cause she answered. I don't know. I have no idea. That kind of reminded me of the Pokemon song. Searching far and wide. Some Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon, <laughs> gotta catch them. The heart's so true. No, I don't know the lyrics to that. Shh. No, why would I? Why on earth would I know the lyrics to Pokemon? I don't know. I would, dude. I wasn't old enough to be like a huge fangirl of NSYNC or anything like that. You know, I never went to any concerts or nothing. But um, <laughs> I did go to Burger King and score those free CDs that they were uh, giving out for N excuse me for Backstreet Boys, I believe. And then the stuff like the watches that they were giving out for NSYNC and the McDonald's. Uh, what do they call them? Happy Meals. Happy Meals. I haven't had Happy Meals in years. <laughs> Which is probably uh, appropriate, right? Imagine having a Happy Meal as an old person. Uh, not not saying old person, but saying like my age, 30. Oh god. Can you imagine? I can't even believe it, dude. When I say that I'm 30, I don't believe it. I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> on the inside, I'm like, no! I mean, on the inside, I know it's true. But uh, there's a part of me that's like, no! <laughs> oh god. What harm? High school was around the time that I started listening to, instead of, you know, like N Street, Backstreet Boys, and some of the hip hop that I was going into, because um, I was really big into Eminem at the time too. Uh, instead of going that direction, I did have a friend who was goth, or she turned goth, she started wearing black lipstick, black clothes, all of it, and she kind of introduced me just to regular rock and roll. And so I just, instead of, I just turned my station, my radio station from, yes, I had a radio back in the day, in fact, I still have one in my car. Uh, I turned the radio station 
just a few stations down from the rap hip hop one down to the rock and roll one and that's how it started. My very first song that I, I believe really really got me into rock and roll was Drowning Pool Bodies. I'd hear it on the radio. Bodies hit the floor, and I was like, "Oh my god, I love this!" <laughs> I, I think I liked the like the power and the at least perceived power. It's not real power or anything. The power, the anger, yeah, the restlessness, the anxiety, kind of like that that feeling that rock kind of it doesn't give you, but it's you know they kind of talk about a lot of those topics and stuff and uh, hatred, all that stuff. Um, I liked a lot of the messages that I heard in rock songs. Stuff like Rage Against the Machine, things like that. <laughs> I know, right? I was just gonna lie, Aceman. I'm gonna start telling people, hey, I'm 24. <laughs> oh god, and they'll be like, are you sure about that? Yep. You sure? Those bags on your eyes don't say you're 24. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm totally trolling. Alright, we're almost done with the chicken, I swear. I know, it's been half an hour. I'm just making a mess now. Like, <laughs> Now you're just playing with it, soul. Yes? Is there a problem? <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, because I have to use one hand to hold the plate up. Otherwise, if I eat like this, you guys will probably be like, What the fuck are you doing, soul? And then I'll have to explain and be like, Oh, my plate down here. So that's why I'm just leaving it here. I might as well just eat like a horse and be like... <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious to imagine. But I feel you there, Aceman. I'm gonna be 24 for the next 10 years. <laughs> I'm kidding. Already been 24 for 6 years. Let's just keep going. Alright, come on, come on, I want that. I know, it's, I'm using my claw fingers. Trying to get that little pinch, but I think we're just gonna have to paste it all out. Paste it all out. Come on, slap that. Yeah, that all squiggly right there. I know, I was disappointed <laughs> when I looked into the, uh, the chicken bucket, because there was no legs. It was just straight thighs and stuff, thighs and wings. I was like, hi. Hey. Where my drumstick, man? Drumstick, easy to eat. <laughs> What's up, Seraphim? How are you doing? Seraphim Solstice, welcome to the stream. You caught me eating. I'm just eating first and then I'll, uh... Oopsie. And then I'll play some games. Yo! Thank you for the raid and stuff yesterday. Guys, Seraphim Solstice, fellow streamer. Catch them, check them out. I'm holding it like this just so people are like, what are you doing? So I'll just be like, having my food right here. Oh. <laughs> I have my food under my nose. Just like people wear their masks and stuff. Instead of putting it, you know, right there. And they're like, you're like, excuse me. Oh, speaking of masks, you guys, I'll admit, sometimes when I have a mask on, I have no idea what's going on with the lower part of my body. <laughs> I think of the mask that I have, it might be a little bit too big. Oh, don't choke again, soul. It might be a little bit too big. Where it kind of like goes up to under my eyes a little bit. And But if I have it lower, I don't know, I have a pointy nose. It looks kind of round and stuff, but it's actually pretty pointy from the side. And uh, if I put the mask any lower, then I get these funny little gaps right here. So I'm like, well, that's big old air holes. Uh, so I do keep my mask kind of far up. And by doing that, I kind of cover like the bottom part of my eyes just a little bit. So I have no idea what's ever going on <laughs> on the lower part of my body. The other day, uh, so I was grocery shopping and something was hanging out of my cart. I had no idea for the longest time until I did look down. And I was like, oh shit, the bananas are falling out. <laughs> and then I thought about it, I was like, how long was I walking around the store with bananas like hanging out of the side of the cart? Because <laughs> they slipped through that little crevice or whatever. I'm like, oh god banana lady now. <laughs> Just the most random stuff. But I will still wear a mask, definitely. I think it's kind of cool. Um, it does allow me to be a little bit lazier with uh, makeup and stuff. Not that I put up, I don't put like a ton, ton of makeup on. I do use, um, now that I've gotten older, I do use foundation and powder. 
Uh, before I would just have powder on and that's it, powder eyeliner. Uh, now I do powder foundation eyeliner. And so um, with the mask and stuff, I don't even have to do the foundation anymore. I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna put my mask on. I don't even have to put any lip gloss if I don't want to. It's the life. <laughs> uh, what's that read through? Just eating for a bit and then I, I'm almost finished too. And then I swear I'll go wash my hands and we'll jump on the game. I'll jump on stream. I mean, we are on stream, but right now I'm just saying, hey, what's up, you guys? Feel free to talk about anything you want in chat. If you guys have any Twitch news, any streamer news, any good news from your life, any bad news if you want to share that too. Pretty much anything goes. Always remember that there are some rules though. Um, right off the bat today, we had somebody that I really care about kind of mention their stream and it still made me a little mad. So I apologize for that. I can't, I can't control that though. The one thing I can't control is like right now, I'm completely chill. You know, that person didn't say anything else in chat. Um, I've forgotten about it. I feel good. But um, when it happens, and when it happens with somebody I've known on Twitch for a while, it makes me feel bad, dude. It makes me, and it makes me feel angry. Like, what they should know, you know? I guess not everybody knows. <laughs> but yeah, so that's why I'm just telling everybody, please remember to read everybody's stream rules. All streamers. We're all very different people. <laughs> with our own set of peculiarities and stuff. While I say anything goes, there are still some rules. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, what kind of mural did you make, read through? That's cool. Yeah, someone did it today! Yes, yes, yes. And the thing that, it's so crazy, read through, it's crazy. And it's the people that I do like. It's people that I've known, but the thing is, and we were talking about it again today, the thing is, sometimes we know streamers for years, like small, I'm a small streamer, I'm not going to say that I'm not, because I am, um, so you know, I know the struggle for small streamers, that's why I'm like, oh yeah, we all got to work our hardest and stuff, but, uh, God, sometimes I know people for years, and they start off streaming, and I'm, you know, I started off streaming too, and they go away because of life, you know, I go away too because of life. I'm just saying they go away, they ghost because they have other issues, other things go down in their life. And I'm not saying, you know, I completely understand that it happens to me too. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's just what happens is that you're streaming, you find streamer friends, and then they ghost because, or you ghost, whenever you ghost, and you just stop talking to each other. And sometimes people come back and they I guess they, they're just different people and they feel like we're still like this really tight knit friend. We have that tight knit friendship, even though you haven't talked to the person for years. And so they feel comfortable just, you know, mentioning what they're doing on their stream and stuff. Because uh, they, you know, they haven't been in the stream for years, so they, they obviously haven't seen the rule change, stuff like that. But it, it gets to me too, because I'm not that type of person. I was kind of comparing myself to like Sims life. If you guys play Sims, you'll know that they have a social bar with whichever friend they meet. And let's say your Sim doesn't see that. So they become best friends with a certain Sim and you go to the, you know, the Sim parties and Sim clubs together and stuff. And that's your best Sim friend, right? Or even your uh, potential significant other. If you do not continue to see that Sim, you know, every single day, gradually your friendship bar goes and even though you might have been boyfriend girlfriend or you might have really liked that person at one time that friendship bar still goes down because you haven't interacted with that person for a while and I'm kind of that way where it's like you know I might be really good friends with somebody that you know I, I've known on twitch and stuff but if they're not around and stuff I kind of my friendship bar goes a little down and when they come back it's like you know I do know you I do remember you I still think you're a cool person but we're not that close anymore. And some people feel, I guess, like we're still really close, even though they haven't been around for years. Sure, they're coming back to, to Twitch and they're starting up streaming again, but I've been here the whole time and they weren't around. It's kind of like, I mean, I know other pe people have their own um, lives and stuff. I'm not saying they have to be around, but I'm just saying, you know, they weren't around. Why do I have to like, with arms wide open. You know, why do I have to accept people with arms wide open? 
after I've not seen them for years, you know, and let them talk about their stream and how they're coming back and how great and exciting they are about it. It's like, I don't really want to hear that. I'm sorry. I want to hear about what they've been doing in life. Um, and, you know, and if they say they're starting up streaming, they're, they haven't been streaming before. So why do I have to hear about that, you know? That means that they're starting up. I mean, I don't know. There's a, a tough subject. Where's that fizzy taco? Mosh pit, no rules. Let's all beat each other up. Yeah, it's Friday. I think so too. I think so too. I think so too. I mean, and that's why I said I might have to be a little bit more rude. But the people that have been around stream, they'll understand why. Even today, somebody came in and it's like, I'm starting streaming again. And it's a person that we know. That's why it bothers me so much. Is it because it's the person, people that have been around the community, even sometimes for years. So they know that I do get pissed off sometimes about this certain issue. And that person comes in today, I'm gonna start streaming again. I'm like, oh, literally the first person in chat. <laughs> Can have no break, you guys. Can I, uh, I think I might be able to scroll up enough to, yep. All right, let's see here. There. I got the screenshot too right now. So y'all believe me. Okay. Screenshot there. The, okay. So what they said. I gotta come back now. Person comes in. They go, hi. And Tignan comes in. He goes, hi. And I go, hey, what's up, per first person? You got the first in the chat. Woohoo! Welcome to the stream. I throw them the first hype, right? And then I say, Tigden, thank you for being second in the stream. You rock, dude. And then first person comes in, or that person comes, they their next comment is, you're what's poppin'? Getting back. And then right after, getting back into streaming now, Pog Champ. Like what? Okay, so you came into my stream to say hey, and literally, like the second thing, the first uh, big, what is it, um, announcement that you make or whatever is getting back into streaming now. You know, it's like, come on, how am I supposed to feel? <laughs> I feel like, you know, you're not here for me, you're, you're here to talk about your stream. <laughs> What's up, Sheen? Oh Lord, poor Sheen. Sheen's like, wasn't this the nonsense we were talking about yesterday? <laughs> yes! Hawk now, thank you Sheen for subscribing. Sheen and Merksu. I appreciate that. But yeah, so anyways, the way I said I was going to deal with that is that now I'm going to be rude. I'm sorry, I'm going to be mean. Uh, I'm sorry, I really am sorry. I'm going to be rude and mean. And if someone mentions their stream, it's just, I'm not going to even say anything. I'm just going to time it out. And I do have a, uh, I have a command that says timed and it should explain everything, right? Oh no, my command doesn't work. I used to have a command that said timed and it would just say like, hey, sorry you got timed out. <laughs> but can you please not do what you did? Go, I think it says something like, go read the rules because you have a, uh, Infracted one of them. I don't know which one. Oh, it's timeout. All right, all right. Let's see here. So yeah, that's gonna be my way to deal with it, you guys. I hate to be, and it's it is an asshole move. I'm I'm definitely saying it. But yeah, so if I have to, if I see that in chat, I'm like, I'm oh, mentioning their stream. I'm just gonna bop them. They get the bop really quick. It'll be painless. It's not gonna hurt nobody. And then I'm going to put the timeout message, which says, Oh no, someone got timed. If that was you, please scroll down to the rules to see which one was broken. If you feel there was a mistake, contact Soul after the stream to explain. Because there's a lot of times that I have tried this method, and I'll time somebody out, or I'll ban them for a bit, and they message me while the stream's still going, and they say everything that's really terrible. Soul, you bitch, you timed me out, what a fucking cunt. You know, oh god, I've heard it all, I've heard it all. And uh, and then they expect, after they call me all these names and stuff, that I'm just gonna be like, yeah, you can come back into the community. You know, no, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, hey, mom. Oh, cool, thank you. Yeah, 
up with some free mail. All right, I'll keep that. I got some free mail. <laughs> Mom runs in, busts in on a ranch. Like, oh god, what's going on here? But yeah, there's I've I've gone through a lot streaming five years and stuff. You you do you do go through a lot. A lot of the cool friendships that I had, unfortunately, either people ghost you or uh, you ended over like the smallest disagreement and stuff. And the hardest part is that when you do like start combining your streams with other people, like uh, like everyone wants to network and all that. And when you do network um, and something goes wrong, it really messes up a lot of the network. Uh, what I mean by that is, let's say that I'm friends with a big streamer, not a big streamer, but like a, a small streamer like myself, say, and you know we start mixing communities i start raiding that person they raid me you know we're having a good time and stuff let's say we have an argument and boom i don't want to be that person's friend they don't want to be my friend and we split our communities back it's too late it's too late we've already raided each other uh they've raided me i have some of their community members they have some of my community members uh and sometimes th those community members they will they'll, they'll be the ones that start you know mixing the water Oh, guess what somebody said about you on their stream and oh and who knows they might even be saying things like that's what they first said on your stream to them you know who knows what people say but it's happened before where you know I've had to I guess break away from certain communities just because I, I do see people that you know I'm not friends with anymore there and you know it was their friend first so you know I'm not gonna be the person that's like well I like this person and the friend too so I'm gonna try to them in the middle and we'll be you know constantly bothering this person nah i let people decide you know they want as friends and stuff <laughs> and they never choose me so i'm like all right well i'm not fighting for it either i know it sucks it does suck so that's how i'm going to deal with it you guys if somebody starts talking about their stream i have to take the rude route and just hit that timeout button i won't you know get super mad about it i'll just let it go because <laughs> I gotta let it not bother me so much because then it ruins my mood for streaming because then I'm like oh what a jerk oh, oh I'm mad now I can't think of anything else to talk about besides that oh, <laughs> oh god hey what's up kinkroid how are you sorry about that I was talking about some random stuff again mm -hmm. and hell walking demon good to see you what up dude welcome back you guys I'm just eating some food really quick I have well I have chicken thigh Biscuit. Now I just got some biscuit and bones. <laughs> biscuit and bones. Yum. But it's been about 42 minutes, so I should probably hurry this up. <laughs> Come on, full. And thank you guys for being here. You know what? Special gems. Everybody that's here, you guys, you get an extra 100 soul gems. Woo. We'll have to check the rankings pretty soon. Because <laughs> I banned somebody that had one of the highest rankings recently. Oh no. I know. It's terrible. Okay, you guys, I will be right back. Mm, I'm going to just toss this extra stuff, the skin, etc., and we'll go ahead and start the real stream. Yay. Alright, BRB. Um, I'm gonna put food away. Uh, then we'll start the stream. Cool. Well, thank you for, uh, where's my remote? <laughs> thank you for putting up with my eating. Yay! That's some cool combos there, too. Me too, demon. Me too. 100%. I always have a person that I used to let people talk about their stream almost all the time. And I think that's where I went wrong, is that uh, what I really wanted was, I did want to have a community that was, like, helpful to other people that, but where I went wrong, Like it wasn't really there. W I wasn't getting much back, and then some people even started making fun. Um, after I did, you know, help them get to affiliate. I mean, I'm sure they did, you know, their own hard work too. But definitely those raids that I would do after stream uh, help push. Um, but some people, you know, they do after that too. After they got their affiliate hit, they're like, oh, I need to hang out with more. And so I started feeling. Uh, 
mad at me because they felt like I was shouting out other people more than them. And, I was, and it started to make me think like, why are people getting mad at me for not shouting them out on my street? Like they're complaining to me that I'm not shouting them out on my street. And then it started, like that just started, it, it formed that idea in my mind that, that that was wrong. That dude, I'm helping these people out and they're ungrateful ungrateful people <laughs> and so with that that idea just grew and it became like a whole thought and now it's just something I can't get out of my mind the fact that you, you will bend over backwards to help people sometimes and just slap them in the face and it's really really hard it's really tough and I always try to I try not to I try to think that that's not everything it's just a certain few bad eggs but it's unfortunate though and you're Oh god, all these sad stuff on the stream. Anyways, I'll be back.
Oh, thank you, King Croyd. Thank you, guys. Can you not hear me now? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hello. Oh wow, it's really bright in this square. <laughs> okay, I think you can hear me now. Yeah. I feel like Jared. Or was oh good. And I had the mic off. I was talking to myself. Ugh. No, I've done that before though. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much you guys for hanging out. We are gonna start the official part of the stream. I was just eating some food really quick. Let me go ahead and get the tweets and everything out. I actually don't have any tweets set up. Oh, I was looking up my fellow, uh, I was in marching band when I was in college. I was looking up some old marching band people on, uh, on Facebook and I did find some and I was like, wow, it's crazy how everybody looks so different. A lot of them have children already. I mean, it makes sense, you know, a lot of my high school friends also have children. But uh, it blew my mind that, you know, a lot of people that I went to college with also had kids now too. It's almost like we're all normal people, huh? <laughs> all right, uh, let's see. Okay, food is done. Food is done, let's start. Let's start the game in. Start the game in. Uh, more, hashtag Fallout 3. Westing is a go! Yay! Uh, come hang out and talk some Fallout. Oh, there we go, it rhymes! Come hang out and talk Fallout. I'll put talk some Fallout. Ooh. That might be even one of those, um, what do they call those tiny poems? <laughs> I'm kidding. Alright, cool. Food is done, let's start the game and you guys, more Fallout 3 questing is a go! Come hang out, talk some Fallout. Twitch.tv slash Soulscape is where we're at. That's twitch.tv slash S-O-U-L underscore 3SC4P3. I actually forgot all my props, so here I go again. I know, I need my clarinet, I need my everything. Everything that I don't use on streams, I need it all now. It's my money and I need it now! Like, the, the bell. The green recorder. The better recorder. The pom-poms. All of it comes together to make the soul stream come alive. Alive, alive, alive. <laughs> Pretend there's a little echo there. Okay, so anyways, we got the tweet out. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's get me over to my Soulscape Facebook page. Yeah, I'm just starting nice man. <laughs> yeah, I decided to put food away and stuff. Uh, which means I had to give the bones to my dogs so they could punch out. Okay. I hate how when you go to Facebook, um, instead of loading up your actual posting page or the page where you post, it loads up your messages page. Like, I don't want to read my messages. What are you talking about, Facebook? If I wanted to read my messages, I'd click the messages tab. Oh gosh, now it's taking forever to load. Alright, back to Discord. Oh. Got everyone right there. And in order for the link to pop up, I have to do HTTPSS. Excuse me. S slash slash. Good. Excuse me, Discord message live as well. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Kink. How are you doing today, by the way? So how's everyone's Friday, you guys? What are you up to? Let me also change the category from just chatting, because we're not just chatting anymore. Now we're fallouting. <laughs> Fallout 3. I'll change the title to... Down with Dave. No, we did uh, Dave's Republic last stream. I don't know. I wonder what we're going to do this stream. Um, I kind of want to go to Oasis. That's where Harold's at, but I'm not sure. We might do some... We could go to that one slaver place. Oh, I know. Okay, we'll continue. Okay, I, I know exactly what we're going to do. Um, we're going to find some keys. Special keys. Special keys, you say? Let's shoot them. 
and let's shoot them in the head today. I have no idea. I guess we're rhyming today, okay? Special keys, you say? Let's shoot them in the head today. And what the special keys are for is we did get a quest yesterday from Mr. Crowley of Underground. And Mr. Crowley told us he lied through his teeth. He told us that he wanted me to headshot four gentlemen that he said were extreme ghoul bigots. That was his words exactly. They were extreme ghoul bigots. Uh, they all had a enraging hate, hatred towards ghouls, and they needed to be dealt with. Now, I believed him right away. I'm super gullible. I believed his ass because we had just done the mission for 10 Penny Tower where I met the biggest ghoul bigots slash racist in the game. So I believed it, dude. I was like, yeah, yeah list, you have 10 pennies on the list. Mm -hmm. List clears out. These guys seem like racist. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm on this mission. I'm like, all right, we gotta go get some headshots. Let's go see. One of the people is Dave of Dave's Republic. I'm like, Dave is a racist? Let's go check it out. So we go talk to Dave, do his quest, get on his good side, and he eventually tells us the whole truth, which is he was in cahoots. He was working together with Mr. Crowley and all four of the rest of the people on that list. He didn't know that there was any list or anything. He was just telling me, you know, stuff from the past that he remembered. And apparently he thought Crowley was dead. He had seen Crowley during that expedition. He'd seen Crowley get locked into a room with a bunch of feral ghouls. Now keep in mind, Mr. Crowley is a ghoul himself. And he did say, oh, it's curious because I don't think feral ghouls attack regular ghouls, which we have learned in underground, excuse me, in underworld from one of the inhabitants or the residents there too they say yeah the super mutants and the feral ghouls don't bother us because we're ghouls ourselves so they can sense that radiation and and, uh, and whatnot you know they sense that they're not completely human so we did learn that mr crowley was lying through his teeth dave told us the whole story and uh, that there are four keys that crowley is wanting to put together he wants those four keys because those four keys whoosh, a door into Fort Constantine, which I'm not sure what's in Fort Constantine, but if it's anything like these other armories that I've broken into in the Capital Waste, they're probably full of like guns, ammo, loot, good stuff. I don't know. I have no idea, Aceman. Uh, we were talking about that yesterday. I don't, I don't think ghouls are a race. They're more of like a species, right? So we'd be like speciest, perhaps. I'm not sure actually. Oh, thank you, Venom, for the raid. Oh my goodness. Uh, it should have told me. Are you sure you did it right, Ben? <laughs> hey, well, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. Yeah, it should, even without the uh, Streamlabs stuff, it should just say like, oh, certain person is raiding you with, you know, however many viewers. Everything's in here too, like Nightbot's here. There you go. Cool. Oh, well, thank you, Venom. I appreciate that. Cool. How did, uh, how are you doing? How is your stream? Oh, oh, you're playing some Van Helsing. Nice. Ooh, Van Helsing. <laughs> ghouls are zombies. Oh, Jesus. Not all ghouls are zombies. That's racist right there, Venom. <laughs> well, at least, I mean, if you were to tell that to Roy Phillips, dude, he'd get so mad if you called him a zombie. He'd be like, Rara! <laughs> you know, he'd get as mad as me when people self-promote. <laughs> oh, jeez. King Grace said my Friday's good. Let's get it here. Me and my mates are playing some, oh, some Dying Light. Nice. I heard they added like quite a few um, new killers, which is pretty cool. That's good, Venom. How was uh, Van Helsing doing? Did you get to slay some vampires? Ooh. Or did you get to drink some blood? Both. Both would be solutions. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and bump this back up. Alright! Let's continue. So 
So we're starting up where we left off. Um, speaking of Dave, we ended up doing his quest where uh, he was having an election, or the Republic of Dave, that little town, was having an election, and Dave thought he was going to win right away. You know, he's like, oh, I'm going to sure win here. Well, somebody rigged the election. <laughs> not me. And uh, Dave did not end up winning, so he took off. He said that he was going to peace out over to Old Olney, which is right over here, infested, mind you, with a lot of uh, death claws. What death claws. Hey, what's up, Sparky? How are you doing? Sparky TV, fellow Twitch caster. What's up, dude? Sparky! It was good to see you yesterday in Jedi stream. Woo! I'm sorry I couldn't stay long. I was starving. I was starving. <laughs> Dave? Happy Friday, Sparks. Uh, it's good. I killed some werewolves. Nice. Werewolves! Whoosh. Now that is what I did not know is in the Van Helsing. Venom housing, nice. Venom housing. Oh, you remember this quest that we're on, Demon? Oh, the Dave quest, nice. Yeah, that's crazy. He goes to Ol' Olney and he's like, I'm gonna start the Republic of Dave right here. And I tried to find him in Ol' Olney, but either he hadn't made it yet or he's dead somewhere. <laughs> I know, right? So somebody rigged the election. <laughs> Wasn't me. Wink, wink. It's very good to see you, Sparky. What are you playing today? Woo! Guys, Sparky is someone I've known for years. Always a streamer. All the Savage Legion, always streamers that I'd love to support. They helped me out a lot um, back in my early starting days on Twitch. I helped them too. And they've always been awesome. They've always been there for me. So. Thank you, Sparky. <laughs> Thank you, Savage Legion. Y'all are the best. Um, yeah, but even today I had someone already just mention their stream. I was like, Jesus, I had to talk about it every day. Every day. Happened yesterday. Happened the stream before. <laughs> Probably happened the other stream before, before. Okay, so. I'm still working on... Oh, Dave's gone, so we're not working on his quest anymore. We're going back to Mr. Crowley. Mr. Crowley is a liar, liar, pants on fire that wants me to gather all these keys and bring it to him. So we have two people left. We have Dukov, the Russian guy that lives with his two ladies. And uh, we also have Ted Strayer, who I believe is over at Rivet City. I'm not sure. And some Hunt Showdown, nice. <laughs> Dave's not here anymore. Dave is deceased. Yeah, what's up with Dave, demon? I would like to know something interesting about him. He just peaced out. He was like, all right, I'm out. He got pissed. Dude, even though it's crazy because Dave's first wife, he had two. His first wife, I, I put her in charge. She was the one I put in charge. And he gets furious even though that's his own wife. Blows my mind. Oh my goodness, Jesus Christ followed. The heavens are looking above, yay. <laughs> the heavens are looking up at us, or down, I guess. They're looking some way. <laughs> Alrighty, Venom, we'll see you soon. Thank you for the raid again, Ben. 45th Venom. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Jesus? Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry to call you out. I know I usually don't call out lurkers, but I had to. Your name. Your name. Alrighty, escapees. I'll, I'll uh, let it, I'll give it up to you. Who should we go after next? We can go find Ted Streer, who I believe is over at Rivet City, right? I'm pretty sure, because um, I know Dukov is over. Gosh, where is he at? Yes, he's over here. So shall we go after Ladies Man Dukov or Unknown Scumbag Tre uh, Ted Streer? <laughs> I forgot who Ted Streer is. He might be a good citizen. Oops. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, Jesus. Oh, that's crazy. I helped him annex that place. He said he was going to, but he ends up dying. Oof. And you put him in a death claw nest. Demon. That's so mean. 
Thank you, new follower. Hey, and welcome to the stream, you guys. How are you doing today? Thank you for uh, deciding to follow. That's awesome. We're just doing a little bit of side questing here. So we just finished the Republic of Dave last stream. Um, and we kind of like two birds with one stone because I was working on you got to shoot him in the head, which is the quest where we have to gather four keys for Mr. Crowley, who's a liar. A big liar. Well, it looks like nobody really minds where we go, so I'm going after ladies man Dukov. Let's do it. Hello, Michael Ross. Welcome to the stream. Mikhail Ross. If I mispronounce your name, I apologize. Let me know um, how to say it. Definitely, I don't want to be that, that a-hole that pronounces people's names wrong. It's been a good day, you guys, so far. Oh, you know what? He was alive when I left him, said Demon, talking about Dave. Just sat down, saying the same thing over and over. I came back a few days. Excuse me, I came back a few days later. Oh, and he had... Oh, okay, my bad. I misunderstood. I thought you put him in the Deathclaw nest after he died, Demon. I was like, that's messed up, dude. <laughs> but those little baby Deathclaws gotta eat somehow, huh? Well, we could walk over to Ol' Olmi just to, you know, check it out. I think I fast traveled there earlier, but maybe that was the wrong thing to do. We'll walk that way. <laughs> now I do too, kind of low key. I had no beef with Dave. He was cool with me. He was cool. He just, in fact, if he didn't want to leave his own republic, I mean, he didn't really have to. I wasn't like, get out of here, Dave, you scum. <laughs> nope, I was just like, well, you know, your wife won. You might want to start listening to her. He's like, that, I'm out of here. <laughs> Rad Scorp scum. I'll buzz, alright. Oh no, another Rad Scorp. Dude, the albinos? Oh my goodness, I waste like tons of ammunition on those albinos. And yes, I said waste, not use. <laughs> the waste on those damn albinos. Like this little waste right here. You know how expensive these AR rounds are? Crabs. Or excuse me, scorps. <laughs> They're like, what? We're not mud crabs. You. Sorry. I'm trying to get to the little rad scorpion. Come on. The good thing about rad scorps, though, is that I sell a lot of their poison glands for bank. I made a lot of caps selling their damn poison glands. And I buy a lot of ammo just by trading poison glands. <laughs> so where's that other body? Get over here. Yeah, that crab claw. <laughs> they do. They do, they do. They eat up way too many people. Ross, if you didn't say, hear me say hello. Hello again. I know sometimes there's ads and stuff that pop up on stream. Oh, it's lonely here in the wasteland. Oh, oh it's quiet today for that death that we just saw. What's that fire over here? Uh oh, oh, I see bullets and gunfire. I'm gonna go be nosy. <laughs> I love watching the random battles out here. Uh, unless it's a merchant, like a caravan merchant that I'm like, oh shoot, and I gotta run over and help them. But if it's nobody I know, I'm like, yeah, this battle's sick. Especially like the death claw versus anybody. Oh, it's uh, the raiders. Look, there's one right there. Looking up at the sky. That person, this guy was looking up at the sky, like, brrr, almost like what Fox does. Alright, let's get up. We'll pick them off one by one. Ready? Oh, there's a death claw up there with him! Do you see that? What? He just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, and it's a girl, too. Excuse me. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, my goodness. What's going to happen there? Oh, oh, dude. I've never seen. Oh, my God. She got knocked the F out. I've never seen a death clock climb the tower before. That's insane. I'm not gonna help. I'm watching. These are raiders. F them. Like they're pieced out. They're like this. Or or somebody's coming up behind them too. That's insane, dude. Where did this death claw come from? What the heck? 
these guys are still tripping out at the bottom. I think you can kind of see them, huh? They're, they must be a little bit tiny on the screen. I swear, there's, there's a couple right here. Look, look, look. I wonder what they're going to do. Go in the tower! Go in the tower, you fools! Oh, oh, oh they're going up. I mean, they're just going to shoot up. He can't do anything from down there. I think they finally got him, unless he goes back inside and downstairs. I've never seen a death claw do. I have no idea how he got up there either. Oh my god, where did he go? Oh my goodness, did you guys see that? I swear in my soul, he went up into the sky. And that's why they were looking up. Oh my goodness, what? Bethesda, what are you doing? That's straight up right there, so I don't see anything. Yeah, I'm tripping balls too, raiders. I have no idea what the f happened. We're all tripping balls here. <laughs> I want to go talk to them and be like, I saw that too, man. I saw it too. They're probably tripping. They're like, did we take too much psycho tonight? I think we took too much psycho. <laughs> and then they're like, no, because that lady's definitely dead. So it did happen. That's crazy. <laughs> I got to, uh, let me just make a, a quick stream marker. Um, I'm going to make that into a highlight later. I mean, we see some really weird stuff here in Fallout 3, but that... That's definitely very interesting. Uh, add stream marker with description. Thank you. And then I'll put weird death claw. <laughs> That'll remind me. That is crazy. Uh, do I play any newer games? I have been playing since four of my off time, and also. Uh, Battlefield 1, just by, you know, practice for shooting and stuff. Sometimes I like to go into a few Battlefield uh, matches just for the heck of it. I used to do that too with World of Tanks. But uh, no, those are pretty old games, so no, nothing new recently. Alright, well, you know what? Nothing new recently. Though. A new game that I am excited for is Elden Ring. I do want to play Elden Ring. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 looks badass. Just seeing, you know, a few clips and screenshots. Um, or excuse me, like, just the announcements too. And screenshots. And oh, I wanted to shout in. Alright, here's that raider that was killed by the Deathclaw. So proof that there was a Deathclaw around here. Where's that person at? Oh. Oh, they're coming downstairs. I wonder if I go inside. <laughs> Do I even want to go inside? But I wonder if I go inside the uh, this tower here, the silo, if the death call will be spawned in. Oh god, if he is, I'm getting my flamer out. Just in case. Just in case my big gun to go for the moment is my flamer. Because I do have a bit of ammo for it. Alright, let's see, let's see. Battlefield 1 is good. I mean, there's a lot of cheaters, supposedly. Good, no death claw here. Uh, there's a lot of cheaters I heard, supposedly. Um, I have seen people cheating, and I've actually been on a team that had a person that was cheating. And how the person was cheating in Battlefield is, I don't know how they did it, but they were able to make themselves like an automatic medic, where anytime I went down or any of the other uh, people on our team went down, we were raised automatically, and we spawned right next to that character who was cheating. It was the weirdest thing. But yeah, and then you can definitely tell if somebody's cheating in the game because their uh, their name keeps popping up like every two seconds. Because they, they had a kill or whatever. You're like, what? I look at Fox down there. I'm looking for that death claw. I see him nowhere. <laughs> Imagine he really is in the sky. Gosh. Not all the time, though. I just mess around on on uh, Battlefield. It's a fun game because you can just pop in a match and then peace out later. 
You haven't found you haven't seen cheaters yet in the in the game basement? Are you on Xbox as well? Yeah, I mean I haven't seen it all the time or anything. But uh, those are the times that I've caught people cheat. So I know, like yeah, I remember, you know, Doc Savage, he's like when he was playing uh, Battlefield with uh, Sparky and the Savage Legion, I remember they were having lots of issues with cheaters. So I'm like, yeah, I've definitely I've had a few of my own. Most matches though, I'm just terrible on my own. <laughs> See, look at this albino rad scorpion. Dude, he takes a lot of ammo. The good part is at least they're gonna be eating good tonight. Woo! Barbecue. Get him, Fox. Nice. There you go. Mm -mm -mm. Straight from the fire pit itself. Okay, so we're making just a quick little trek over to Ol' Ol' Me. Because I want to check it out. I know, I started going the wrong way. My bad. My bad. Hey, Samurai Hunter, what's up? Oh, you started Fallout 76, but you're not sure how you feel? <gasps> And with the Wastelanders update too, huh? Popped back onto Fallout 76 and I did get all those uh, new quests on my list. And so I'm kind of excited. I had to fix my inventory though because it was all out of whack. I was horribly over encumbered. <laughs> had a ton of steel and uh, wood and other stuff that I didn't want to get rid of. But I guess that I needed to get rid of. Oh, here's the Nuka-Cola shipment that uh, crashed. If you go in here before I looted it, there's uh, at least 30 regular Nuka-Colas and there's five Nuka-Cola Quantums. And they're just kind of around these boxes and stuff. <laughs> Fox! He's being silly. Fox being silly. Yeah, that's where we're going, Purple. We're gonna go check out some alleyways in Ol' Ol' Me. Because I did go yesterday, but I kind of just ran around for a bit and I didn't see any dead bodies. I mean, I did, but I didn't check to see if they were Dave. I'm assuming he probably dies over here. I mean, come on. Darn it. Oh, oh, perfect. You know what? We're in a good sniping spot. Let's do a little sniping. <laughs> Death Claw's like, Mark. What happened? Oh, sorry, I shot a little too early there. What happened? I wonder where he runs to. Let's just watch him go. <laughs> he checks the hole for a dude. He's gonna find a way up here. Smart death claw. Smart claw. Well, he's out of there. Good enough. Watch, we see Dave walking up. Hmm. All right. Did he just stay over there? I think, oh, there he is, he's going this way. I was just about to say, I think the Deathclaw found a new home. But now nah, he's coming back. He's going around. He still smells us a little bit. Oh, he's fighting somebody, who's he? He's fighting a Myrler King. Oh, I love these battles. Look at that, he did find somebody to fight. Oh, we kicked the Myrler King's ass. Oof. There we go. A little sneak attack right there. Take that. <laughs> He's like, where are those bullets coming from? Good enough. <laughs> run, Deathclaw, run. Get out of here. Oh, he mad. He's going to find us right now, you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna get something better out. Oh, alright. Oh, that's an ending. Alright, let's get out of here before I get caught <laughs> doing shenanigans. Doing shenanigans. Yeah, I'm on the scrub Xbox. It's true. I like Xbox, though. I love you, Xbox. I don't think I don't. And yes, I know it is the weaker system. It's true. It doesn't mean that it doesn't give me a good time, because it definitely does. You gave me a good time, Xbox. Thank you. 
In fact, I do have to be... That's why I'm thankful to Twitch and Xbox and all of these, you know, different games and stuff. Because it wouldn't have... If not for Xbox or Twitch and the fact that Xbox allows streaming through Twitch, I would not have met any of you guys. So I'm very thankful for my console and the streaming platform, even though a lot of people are like, Twitch is awful, Twitch is trash. Still like, man, I love Twitch. I would not have met you guys without it. Supposedly we shot out an outcast. Robo-brain. Who is it? Somebody after us, Guts. Guts? <laughs> Fox? Thinking of Berserk right there for some reason. <laughs> Guts. That's the uh, the name of the main character in that anime. <laughs> I used to be a console person too. I would love to play on PC. But I, I definitely would be, I know, once again, I'd be one of those control people, controller people. Um, I, I used to play Oblivion. Oh, shiz! Good, he got stuck at least. I used to play Oblivion on uh, in, in college on my laptop. And so I did figure out how to, you know, I do know how to use mouse and keyboard for, you know, playing games and stuff. And I thought it was cool too, I did get used to it. But, oh look, here's the outcast. F the outcast. Um, I did get used to it, but I'm definitely way more used to using my controller. I'd probably just be a scrub with the controller then. Oh, that's cool, Demon. Definitely. Still playing that console. Yeah, like, I mean, I understand, especially with... If you have PlayStation 4, all those exclusives. Oh, man, delicious. I think it was that death call that we disturbed. Okay, so everyone's telling me to look in some alleyways. I'm just gonna look, scan around for some dead bodies. <laughs> I'm all assuming that uh, Dave is dead. He very much could be alive, I don't know. I'm just assuming, dude, because this area is awful. Yes, Gave you a car, nice. The only way I was able to beat the Deathclaw in Fallout 4 uh, during that Minutemen quest, one of the first quests, is by running around the car like crazy. It was a wonderful time. Yeah, like Dark Souls with the controller, true. Oh gosh, yesterday I went and fell in this hole right here and it has a Deathclaw in it. Or that one right there. <laughs> that was a big oof. Oh, oh! Blood. Right here is a death claw. Oh, shoes. Oh, good. At least the thing fell down without us in it this time. Should I be a jerk? Of course. <gasps> oh, I hit myself. Oh, sorry, Fox. I know I'm a bad. I just kind of wanted to watch. These death claws are mean. Don't feel bad for them. <laughs> I should use my mines instead. And let him be. He's in the cage. Let him be. That's enough punishment, I would say. Dave? Dave, where are you? Okay, don't worry, uh, demon. I don't think anything good's about to happen. <laughs> you might miss something terrible, though. Hello, Dave! Dave, I don't think there are any more death claws around. Dave? Let's go check this little corner right here. There's the store. Dave? Dave? Nope. Why would he not? I think that blood spot was him. Because why would he not be at the center of town? I would assume he's like right in the middle, right? If he made it. He probably died outside of town, to be honest. <laughs> Poor dude. Nothing in there. <laughs> Dead body. He's all hiding in here. In the drop box. You never know. It could be crumpled up. Oh, I see more blood. Dave? That 
could be the death claw nest right there. Oh, I hear somebody fighting. Fox. Fox, where'd you go? I think he, he probably went outside. Ugh. <laughs> Kill it! Kill it with fire! Oh, look, here's some bodies. Oops. Let's go see if any of these are Dave. Hello? Nah. These bodies are too old to be Dave's body. Are you okay? Did you see anything out there, Fox? I finally found some actual corpses, but... <laughs> unless he's in one of these trash cans, I don't think Dave's around. Hmm. Well, none of that's him. I think we're actually coming back up to where we entered. Hmm. The only thing is, is I can think of, or the only thing I can think of would be he's downstairs or in the sewer area down here. Oh crap, did the, uh, did the death claw get loose or is he still, okay, he's still down here. Good, good, good. Anyways, the death claw's right in front of that door that leads downstairs. Oh my God, don't go in there, Fox. Don't go in there. I made that mistake yesterday. I got swiped big time. Your death is my All right, well, you know what? I think we'll let it be, you guys. As much as I would love to go down in the sewers and stuff. Oh, shoes. Almost went in there. Uh, as much as I'd love to go sewer diving again. I say, let's just continue on with that quest. We'll be back later. I'll be back. I'll check that area again. I just, I don't know, I have a feeling he's probably not down in the sewers. And then we're just gonna have to kill a whole bunch of death claws. Oh gosh. What a disaster. What a disaster. <laughs> Can we call that death claw Dave Jr.? Actually scratched that. <laughs> yeah, good old Fox. I love Fox. He's a good companion. I would also like to check out a few of the other companions though. Um, I remember we can have a ghoul companion, but I forget his name. Oh, I think it isn't it Sharon. I think we can have Sharon as a companion, but I forget what I have to do for him. He is also in Underworld, which is the area where we're doing quests right now, side questing. Side quest that we're going to continue with, though, is you got to shoot him in the head. Oops. Which is we're going over to Dukov, Lady Man Dukov. And we're gonna see if we can scrounge his key from him somehow. Mr. Crowley lied to us, told us that we were supposed to go out and kill some ghoul bigots, so people that hate ghouls a lot. And I believed him. Luckily though, I talked to Dave, one of the people that I was supposed to kill. <laughs> talked to him before I killed him and asked him, hey, what's up with Mr. Crowley, who was he? And he actually gave me the scoop without knowing that Crowley wanted him dead. He said, oh yeah. Um, I worked with Mr. Crowley when we were going through Fort Constantine, and long story short, <laughs> we all have four keys, or excuse me, we all have a key to open the door. So I'm thinking those guys really aren't ghoul bigots, or maybe they are, but the real reason Crowley wants them dead is he wants those keys, he wants that treasure. Now that we're on the mission, I want the treasure too! So sorry Crowley. We just got betrayed. We just got wrecked, Crowley. Well, not yet, because we're still working on the mission, so. Not, might not be ready. Ooh. Blegger Muffin. What's it? Welcome to the stream, Blegger Muffin. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, we're being followed. Oh, we are being followed. Oh, gross. Enclave. Enclave scum lord. Get out of here, Enclave. Nice. Rip. Your death is my Come on, let's go get the goods, Fox. These guys always have good stuff on them. <laughs> I could use a good... Ooh, I could use that flamer to repair my flamer. Nice. Delicious. 
down with the Enclave! Sorry, any Enclave supporters out there. They just really rubbed me the wrong way this time around. <laughs> Oops! Rest in peace, head. Armor too. Hey! Can you hold What have this? you got on your mind? Too much to talk about right now, Fox. Yes. Oh By yeah, he's got plenty of room. Let's. All right, take the Hellfire armor, that one too, and the test in the armor for sure. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Fox. I'll keep a few of these because uh, if you want to take the assault rifles too, yeah, I'll keep the rest of this. Cool. Thanks, Fox. Or actually, I just saw one thing that yes. I'd like to give you too: sniper rifle. Means. Let's. Six sniper rifle, by the way. <laughs> that is the sniper rifle that what's his name gave us, so that I could supposedly kill these people that have keys. Mr. Crowley gave us this sniper rifle. I was supposed to shoot the enemies in the head, no questions asked, <laughs> and then uh, take the key from their body. All right. And I shall follow. Hey, Jedi, what's up? Good stream yesterday, Jedi. Welcome, welcome, guys. We got Mod Dib Jedi in the cast. He's another awesome and amazing Twitch streamer. I'm sorry I couldn't stay. I told Sparky too, I was like, I'm sorry I couldn't stay as long as I wanted to, Jedi. I was starving. Who is it? Oh god. Talon Company sense. Oh, they threw a grenade. Oh. Damn it, I can't shoot with all this shaking. Oh, it's one of the synths whose body doesn't match its head. Look, I'll show you this guy. I'll try not to kill him. I'll try not to shoot his head. Shoot him in the body. Shoot him in the body, Fox. Oh, Fuzz. Oh, Fuzz, Fox. You're not supposed to shoot his head off. It's too late to retreat. You're done goofed. Okay, good. Look, 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 look. Proof escapees. I posted this on Twitter the other day. These asshole Talon Company mercs, they are synth clones. Fox, will you shut up? I'm trying to explain something. I'm gonna feel so alive after this too. Okay, good. Right, that's enough. We gotta explain something, Fox. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. Look, let me go on my crazy, <laughs> super crazy person rant here. Look, you guys, Tal and Company are a bunch of cloned synths. Cloned synths. I'm not crazy, you guys. I found proof. Look, look. This guy has a lighter complexion head. And look at his arms and legs. The carpet does not match the drapes. The carpet is not matching the drapes. Oh. They're synths. Clone synths. That's why there's so many of them. And if you don't believe me, look at this. What on earth? What on earth? Who are they trying to think that they're fooling? Hmm? 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 Do they think they fool those of us with no eyes? Because those of us with eyes can definitely see that this is not a normal human right there. <laughs> I'm kidding. I get way too obsessed with that. I, it's just hilarious. Like, come on, Bethesda. <laughs> oh, I love you. Yes, they're synths. They are cloned synths. And there's the proof right there. And he's got a really nice butt. He must be working out. And look at those thighs. Wow. That guy spent some time in the gym before he croaked. <laughs> uh, I was just messing you guys. Here, take some soul jemmies. We gotta make up some kind of weird fallout conspiracies, right? <laughs> uh, no, but I just thought that's funny because that is not the only tell I've found or I've seen several of these guys that have lighter complected heads and darker complected bodies. And it's not the lighting in the game, because that was what some people were telling me last time. They're like, it might be the lighting in the game. I'm like, no, they are actually, the carpet are not actually matching the drapes. <laughs> I think this guy too, he's got like a, he has like a slightly less tan body, but he still has a light complected head for some reason. He's got the albino head going on. All of them do. No, not all of them. It's only certain of these guys. But yeah, that's why I was like, Fox, don't shoot him in the head. I have a point to prove. And this guy was drinking wine on the job. No wonder he wasn't able to shoot us. He was drunk on wine. 
All right, let's go ahead and repair this really quick. It's gonna be the only time I'm able to do that, so we'll repair that that way. And I have a couple of weapons here, nice. Sub machine gun, I should give that to Fox to hold. Need to start using my combat shotgun a little bit more. And now we have old painless too, which would be kind of a cool hunting rifle to start using. Lincoln's repeater also needs to be repaired with the hunting rifle. If I'm not careful, I can use old painless, so I gotta make sure I watch that. Cool. Um, I did look up old painless last night. So the special thing about this hunting rifle compared to regular ones in the game is that old painless is kind of like Lincoln's repeater where it does not have that bullet drop. So it's very, very accurate. No matter where you have your little cursor set, that's where pretty much where the bullet's gonna go. So it has a very, very high accuracy. It has a higher fire rate than the other uh, hunting rifles, the regular ones. And it also reloads faster, which is pretty nice too. Um, the one drawback though, which I think happens with a lot of these special weapons is that it's a little bit, uh, the condition is a little weaker than the regular weapons, which means it'll break a little bit sooner uh, if you know if you're being shot at or if you're actually using your using it yourself and stuff. True, true. <laughs> do it, Jedi! Do it. How'd the rest of your stream go, Jedi? By the way, you guys, Jedi is part of the 111 Savage Legion. Legion, I was talking to you about when Sparky came through. I've known them since year one of streaming. They've helped me out a lot and I've tried to help them too as best as I can. So I'll always have love for the Savage Legion. So yeah, Jedi, Sparky, Doc, uh, Doslan, Hart, Remy, all you guys uh, of the Savage Legion. If I ever post anything about self-promotion and stuff, just ignore it because I'm not talking about you guys at all. You guys are the stream team that I would support uh, no matter what. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. All right, let's see. And that's, those are the type of people that I don't want to alienate, you know? The the ones that are really, really cool, you guys. And that's why I had to delete that tweet yesterday, because it's like, nope, there's still, there are definitely good people on Twitch. Not everybody's just going to be all, you know, obnoxious and stuff <laughs> about their uh, their streams and whatnot. So. All right, let's see here. So I didn't want other people, you know, the good peeps to get the wrong idea. What is this? Ooh, I'll take that flamethrower recipe book. <laughs> Too bad we can't drive this old decrepit bus. I would totally win. It went well. <laughs> hey, it happens. It definitely happens. All good. Big guns increased by two. Yeah, I get a little salty playing games too. <laughs> oh man, I got so salty yesterday because of the ending of Ten Penny Towers quest. We go through that whole thing, you guys, if you're a good character, you go through that whole thing, you have to like talk to everyone so that, um, you know, they're okay with having the ghouls live there. And so I did the whole spiel, made sure everything was peaceful, that everyone was gonna get along, called Roy Phillips the ghoul and all his friends to come on over. And I thought, I was like, ah, good, another happy ending to a happy quest. Or, you know, maybe a not so happy quest, but it was a happy ending. And so then I go and talk, I'm, I'm just, you know, finishing up the quest, seeing how everybody's doing, how do they like, you know, their new living spot. And I asked Roy and he's like, it was great, it's great in here. I love this area, it's a lot less dirty. I'm like, good Roy, I'm glad that you're transitioning well, you know, into your new home. Let me go ask Tenpenny how he feels about having the ghouls here. Well, I'm like, la 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 la. And I go and ask, or I go to go ask Tenpenny, go outside, look at his chair, it's empty, I'm like, Penny. I look at the time, it's like about 5 a.m. in the game, so I'm like, yeah, you could be asleep, let's go check his room. And as I'm going into his room in the penthouse, I see a blood stain on the wall, and I was like, you can even tell on stream my face like dropped. I was like, what? No, oh, I knew something was terrible after that. I was like, Ten Penny's either dead or BS happened. And sure enough, I go back to talk to Roy Phillips the ghoul, and a new option, new dialogue option popped up that says, what happened to Tenpenny? And I go, oh no, I go, what happened to Tenpenny? And so I select the dialogue option. There's a lot of folks in here. What is this place? 
Well, real quick, I go to select the dialogue option of what happened to Tenpenny, and then, lo and behold, Roy Phillips goes, in his lovely ghoul voice, he says, Well, we had a little disagreement. Luckily, Tenpenny had an accident after that. I was like, he had an accident, mother trucker, you killed him. And I got mad right after that. I was like, we went through so much effort trying to have a peaceful ending that Roy just has a little argument not even related to the quest. And he kills the dude that I need. What the fuzz? Oh, this is the Temple of the Union. Oh, I see. This is either where those slaves are or where they're helping the slaves. <laughs> One or the other. Oh, yo, what up, Doc Hoff? Hey, good to see hey you there. still alive. Nearly all the merchants are dead. <laughs> Good that we have one still here. I know, I miss Jedi raging too. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm saying, yeah, that's true too, Jedi. I'm not saying that Tenpenny was a good person or that he deserved to live. Hey. I just got, personally, I got mad because um, when you do talk to Tenpenny, he's not one of the biggest assholes uh, in that whole tower. He's actually... He's like, well, you know, I don't really want to live with the ghouls, but he goes, but if you can convince everybody or, you know, a lot of people to be okay with the ghouls, I'd be okay with it too. So he wasn't like, I don't know, in my eyes, Tenpenny was one of those characters we that was kind of changing some. a little bit. Or I don't know, he had potential to change. He was also the richest man, at least I think. He's the richest man in the freaking capital wasteland. <laughs> uh, thank you. I appreciate uh, thank you. Uh, but yeah, I was dude. In the wastes. It was very sad when uh, when Tenpenny died. Hello. And NHL, what's up? Are we glitching a little bit, you guys? I think stream's lagging, isn't it? No. Bit rates all everywhere. It's 2,900. Should be decent. This dude in the waist died. I was like, no. Oh my god, did you blow up Megaton? No! Who blew up Megaton? Oh my god, Jedi! Heartless. But it is a pretty badass explosion, isn't it? I've actually never blown up Megaton myself, but I YouTubed it. I needed to see. I do know that Moira, you know, survives and stuff. She's like, oh my god! What? What happened? What's your business, stranger? Don't shoot! I'm... just looking for a place to rest. Hannibal says I gotta let folks like you in, but that don't mean I have to like it. Keep your hands in sight and don't make any sudden moves. I'm coming down to open the gate. Okay. I'd like your hair. Side quest to a side quest. Hannibal Hamlin. He is somebody I need to talk to for something. Uh, oh, it's head of state. Okay, let's, let me just side, er, squeak on over here. I'm curious, what is this head of state about? Is that Simone? Oh, oh. Let's check this out. I forgot about the Temple of the Union quest. These guys are either slavers or slave helpers. Hannibal is upstairs somewhere. I'm locking the door behind you, so don't try anything. I'm watching you. Okay. Oh, it is Simone. Simone Cameron. Oh, wait! You, uh... I'll be back, Fox. Oh. Oh, you can open it. You didn't lock it very well, Simone. I mean, I'm just saying Watch that. Your step. If that was supposed to be a real lock, I mean, my, my friend here just picked it. Picked it clean. Ooh, we'll see how it goes, Jedi. Terribly sorry, sir. Oh, I see a couple of I can try frying it instead Ooh, of I want to sit around the fire. Hello, ma'am. How are you studying today? Oh, a dog. Oh, Hi. Abraham Lincoln. He was a very great man, Bill. A very great man. Tell that to the Native Americans. Poor Native Americans. Alright. Oh, hey! Speaking of Abe Lincoln. Oh, uh, Simone? Oh, Evening. geez. I'm gonna assume this is the main dude here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Quest marker's right at him. 
Uh, thanks, Simone, wherever you went. Hey, hi. Ah, a visitor. Welcome to the Temple of the Union. I'm not Good going to, to ask you. you who you are. Okay. Uh, for the moment, I don't care. All right. We are all escaped slaves. I They're need your solemn promise not escaped. to betray us to Paradise Falls or the slavers. Until I get hey. that, you cannot leave here. So, do I have your word? Lucky for you, I'm actually a good player during this playthrough, so yeah! Uh, I might not solemnly swear, because I'm still kind of a jerk, but um... <laughs> had I- look at this one! Had I known this before, I wouldn't have come in! Let me go! <laughs> Let me go or I swear to god I'll rip your fucking throat out! Protect escaped slaves? You gotta be kidding, dude! You're worth money to me! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's such a terrible answer! Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna be honest. I don't solemnly swear, but I'll help you out, dude. Welcome, sister, to the Temple of the Union. <laughs> that was our great. home is your home. Your past is your own affair, so long as you serve our common good. As a symbol of our trust, here is a key to the gate. Wow, we get the whole key already? Hell yeah. So are you guys like the, uh, the ra- uh, excuse me. Are you guys like the railroad? Is that a stone head? That's Abraham Lincoln, the great emancipator. Wow. I don't know how it came to be here, but it's fitting, don't you think? Hi, Gosme. How are you doing? What's up, Gus? Gosme, you changed your name. Guys, fellow streamer, we got Gosme Boop. Hey, Gosme. We're just at the Temple of the Union right now. Aw, uh, thank you for being so nice yesterday. You and other people's words last night, I was. it reminded me that there are good people in the world, and I gotta stop focusing on the uh, the negative... Uh, because not everybody's negative, it's just one. But if I focus on it, then it just becomes a bigger issue. Yeah, we're kicking some butt in Fallout. I don't think we died yet. Thank goodness. And Venom, thank you for that raid again, too. Did I catch her wiggle? Oh my god, I didn't see a wiggle! Ooh, I gotta check it out, should I? Apparently, Simone wiggles. I wonder from where. <laughs> I know! I'm trying to be like a neutral person demon. Like I'm when I start, or at least when I started this playthrough, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do some good stuff, but I'll do some bad stuff too. Like my character likes to steal whenever she wants. Like if it's convenient for her, she finds some caps laying around and somebody's locked, you know, safe. Hey, <laughs> hey. I'll take it, but um, overall I have been kind of good during most of the quests and stuff unless it's like super obnoxious or they're not going to pay me or I didn't like the character because <laughs> they were rude or something. Uh, but overall, just by going that type of direction, we still ended up being a very good character. So I'm like, well, I guess we're very good. I guess. <laughs> the Temple of Soul. Thanks, Venom. Oh, I see, Kasmi. Oh, you're going to change again in August? Ooh, I'll be excited to see. I would definitely be excited to see. A moral compass, mm-hmm. Indeed. How are you doing, Gasmi? How's your day going? I believe Saturday, right? Ooh. So, okay, so we're coming in. Simone stopped us at the gate. She's like, don't do anything or I'm going to shoot you. I'm like, okay. And so... She tells us she's going to take us to the leader, Hannibal. That usually happens. Hannibal tells us they are escaped slaves, and I have to swear a solemn oath to not betray them. All right, he gave us a key as his uh, token of trust. That's really nice. All right, here we are. Let's see. Oh, you didn't. You woke up not too long ago. Oh, nice, got me. So early then, huh? Hope you have some delicious coffee or tea. Yeah, it's a good day today. I did have somebody self-promote right at the beginning of stream though, but I said, nope, I'm just gonna let it go. Don't think about it. <laughs> but it just blows my mind like every single day. Wow, every day, every stream. Uh, okay, so Hannibal, you tell me you guys are escaped slaves. Did you used to be a slave? For 23 years, I was a slave. Dang, Ever since I was years 14, slave. six years ago, I managed to escape from my master. He's been hunting me ever since. 14, he's 37. When I found the head of Lincoln here, I knew it was a sign for me to help other slaves to escape. I founded the Temple of the Union as a safe haven for runaway slaves everywhere. Oh, he's the, okay, so he's the founder, main, main dude. 
Uh, what are a bunch of escaped slaves doing here? Like, we why are this trying place? to make a safe haven for all runaway slaves. Kind of like the railroad. We give food and supplies to any that find us and help them on their way. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, you help them on their way, though. Why don't they just stay here? We don't have enough room. There's not oh, enough water so. yeah, or food Yeah, it's pretty here. small building. But I have a True. plan. A plan Looks to take a over a place that will be a shining beacon of hope for all slaves. Shining beacon of hope for all slaves? Um, would that just attract the slavers, though, or...? Hmm. Is that really the right idea? You make jokes when the lives and freedom of our fellow <laughs> sorry, men are I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, Hannibal. That was insensitive you, of me. I tell I know a place that we can defend from the slavers. Okay, all right. It does sound dangerous, though. Give me that. Well, where is this place? I want to move all my people to the memorial site for the great Abraham Lincoln, but I need to know if it's safe. Oh, I know. I've heard rumors of super That's mutants the place infesting where, uh, that area, Yeah. Though. We need to send someone to check that out first. Not only super mutants, there's also the actual slavers there, Hannibal. Yeah, don't even worry about the super mutants, dude. The slavers are the ones that are in control. Not been there. Those super mutants are all dead. I mean, yeah, they are. We did kill them, but but the slavers are still there. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. Well, I better get going. <laughs> uh, no, but honestly, don't even worry about the super mutants, dude. The slavers actually already have that spot. Slavers. Dear God, they must know about our plans. Do whatever do. you have to do to make the memorial site safe for my people. <gasps> Before you leave, speak whatever with Caleb. Whatever I have to do. He'll need your help, too. What does Caleb want? Who's Caleb? He was a stonemason. It will fall to him to restore the memorial as best he can. He's been pestering oh. me for oh, weeks now to get him some things Oh, he's the stonemason. Oh, God, don't needs. let that guy die. I don't have time to deal with him right now. If Caleb the stonemason dies, whoever else is going to take up that stonemasonry? Oof, that building's going to be sideways. <laughs> We need Caleb alive. Well, man, Hannibal, you just hit me with a lot of info right there. Uh, I better get going, though. May the spirit of the great Lincoln protect you. Out of my way. Time to eat. I have to keep my energy up. Ooh, can I eat with you guys? What are you guys eating? Let me go see that jiggle that Jedi was talking about. Oh, you mean the butt wiggle. Oh, yeah, I do see that wiggle now that you uh, mention it. Do we all butt wiggle? Oh, yeah, we do. My character butt wiggles. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. I'm usually a pretty lewd person. I'm surprised I didn't notice that we all kind of butt wiggle in this game. Not that I'm looking or anything. <laughs> I'd still like to learn how to shoot Simone. Do you have time tomorrow? I don't know, Caleb. Oh, I'm always tight. Oh, there's Caleb. Hold on, guys. One second. Nothing but gray yeah, rocks. Yeah, mom. Just a lot of gray rocks. Hmm? Oh. Oh, I'm streaming, you guys. Uh, my nephew is selling his car to my brother, which is his dad. And uh, so they're doing a little, little transaction back there. Yeah, it was a butt wiggle. I see it, Jedi. Ooh, some delicious coffee. Coffee got me in trouble yesterday, too, Gus. <laughs> I drank coffee late, and so I was up at 5 a.m. just staring at the ceiling. I couldn't stop thinking about stuff. I'm like, it must be the coffee. Why am I not asleep yet? Yeah, they do! That's actually pretty nice, Jedi. The Fallout ladies have a nice butt wiggle. Do the guys have it? Good to see you. <laughs> well, uh, I'll be honest. That Talon Company guy that we were looking at, the, the one that was dead, uh, he had some nice thighs. Like, his thighs were... He did not skip leg day. His butt cheek was not... Oh, gosh. Never mind. He was a worker-outer, okay? We are grateful okay, so. for any help you can give us. I'll join okay, you guys. Now. It looks like... Well, it looks like somebody knocked over this chair, but... Good to see you. I'll just sit here, too. Hey. Wow, I feel like a real Fallout family. Keep your hands to yourself. Hey! Simone's like this. Hello? I'll just take her spot. Hello. Wow, this is cool, you guys. Y'all want a beer? I know I do. <laughs> well, I don't have a beer, but I got a vodka. <laughs> Taking shots next to the uh, hey. fire. Wow, so you're Caleb, huh? Do you think the slavers know where we are? You're looking pretty good, Caleb. I might I have to have another so. drink. <laughs> I might have to have another drink and we can party, Caleb. 
Oh, I do have a beer. Ooh, lucky day for me. Don't worry, we're well armed and soon. Ooh, we'll you remember that saying? Safe. Beer before yeah. liquor, throw up quicker. But I had vodka before beer, so Good never fear. <laughs> Vomit on poor Caleb. Oh, sorry. Anyways, Caleb, now that I'm drunk, uh, what's up? You're new. I'm Caleb. If you're going to be staying a while, I could use some help. <laughs> Fallout needs a twerking mod. <laughs> I see that, Venom. Uh, you're gonna need some help if I'm gonna stay a while. Hannibal told me you needed something. And you're the stonemason, so what's up? Hannibal told you about Lincoln's memorial? Yep. Well, he doesn't just want to live there. He also wants to restore it. Oh, good Make for it him. so people tell stories about it and the word can get to the slaves. Cool. But I can't restore something if I don't know what it looked like. I need a drawing, a photograph of it. Ooh. A picture of the Lincoln Memorial. I might have that already. Because we went through the... We went through the whole Museum of History, so... Uh... Where am I supposed to get a picture of the Lincoln Memorial? Our ancestors honored Lincoln's life with a display ah, in the Museum yes. of History. I'm hoping that a picture of the memorial still survives in there. Which it probably does, or I might still need to pick it up. So he needs a picture of the Lincoln Memorial, and that's it. It's on the left. It doesn't look... Darn it. If I had it, it would pop up, pop up on the left, too. Just to turn it in or something. All right, so I gotta go back to the Museum of History. I must have missed some stuff there. Uh, okay, well... Cool. Uh, okay, let's talk about something else. What's this uh, stone head of Lincoln that you guys have? What's this all about? The stone head is from the statue of Abraham Lincoln. Hannibal wants me to reattach it to the statue in the memorial. How'd you guys get it, though? <laughs> That's what I want to know. How did they get the head of the statue of Lincoln? That's crazy. Um, well... So, you know, you guys all used to be a slave. I'm, like I said, we had a few beers in the game, so... <laughs> I'm gonna be nosy. Long time ago. Eight years, I think. Dang. Three of us escaped during the night. They caught Lysel and John. I made it to the wasteland. What an unfortunate Raiders took name. Me in at first. When I heard about this place, I knew I had to come here. Ooh. Well, that's nice. You knew you needed to help out, I guess. Why not keep running, though? We are the only hope for runaway slaves everywhere. All right, that's noble. Rivet City and the Citadel can't be bothered with helping slaves. They turn no, of course not. Out. Nobody can be bothered to help. We are the only ones willing to stand against Paradise Falls. Oh, Paradise slavery. Falls is the slavery place. There we go. I forgot what it was. For a second, I was thinking Oasis was the place where the slaves hang out. So, I heard you're the stonemason. Do you do anything else here, Caleb? My former master trained me in masonry. I fix things. Hmm. Someday, things I hope down, to reattach he Lincoln's head to the statue in the memorial. Ooh, even more defined butt wiggle in New Vegas. Oof, that's hot. I see that, Jedi. Am I gonna give him the gun? I have no idea. Oh, no! Do I have to give him Lincoln's uh, repeater? No! No, I will not give that away. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend. I'm gonna leave that historical relic at home. Pretend I never found Lincoln's repeater. Don't know what anybody's talking about. You can't prove it. <laughs> you can't prove that I have that gun. Not you guys, but anyone in the game. You guys in the game can't prove I have that gun. I never had it. Okay. <laughs> All right, Caleb. Evening. I was like, no, it's my gun. It's a damn good gun. I've been using that gun. <laughs> I know it's a good weapon. I mean, we do have Old Painless now, which I did look up Old Painless. It kind of is like Lincoln's repeater. Where it's, you know, a little bit less damage, of course, but it's faster than a regular hunting rifle. Faster fire rate. A uh, little bit more damage than a regular hunting rifle. Also very, very, very accurate. Just like Lincoln's repeater, there should be no bullet drop on Old Painless either. So, that's three good things about Old Painless. But, Lincoln's repeater does all of that and less damage. I mean, excuse me, more damage, so. Love to keep it. Plus, it's, you know, 44 caliber. Hmm. <clears throat> stranger. Uh, what's I this gun you speak of, says Venom? None of anybody's business. No gun. So many others refuse to help us. Oh, thanks. Okay, so we talked to Caleb. He needs us to Caleb, go to the Museum of History. Your reading? When I get time, maybe once or twice a week, I'll try to do better. 
Aw, teaching Caleb to read. Hi, Mr. Bill, how are you? My name is Bill. Bill Seward, if you please, ma'am. Bill Seward? You should change, you should really change that to Seward. <laughs> Not Seward, oh my goodness. Uh, I see that you guys have the stone head of Lincoln. What's that about? Oh, he's not voiced. He has no voice acting here. Oh, I have to do the voice for him, you guys. Hold on. Hello. Yes, ma'am. What can I do for you, ma'am? Oh, I can't ask him about that head again? Darn it. All right, let's ask him about a slave. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All my, my life. life. Oh, One darn it. One day, I killed the master's <gasps> little girl. It oh. was an accident, I swear. Ooh, I can't I, help this guy. I ran away. They Child would never murderer. have believed me. Hannibal found me. I would never have made it without him. Bill. I'm afraid I'm going to have to murder you now. <laughs> hey, this place is a dump. Why don't you just leave, dude? Oh, ma'am, this place is heaven. Just a little bit Look of heaven here beard. in the wasteland. Any slave makes it here, he's free. Just like that. And Until Mr. he gets Hannibal, caught again. He's got a plan. A plan for heaven to be everywhere, not just here. He's got a plan to go to the Lincoln Memorial. That's what he's got. So anyways, Mr. Bill, what do you do here besides murder children? A bit of this and a bit <laughs> so of that. Mean. Whatever so Mr. Hannibal needs. I look after the animals, cook our meals. Oh, he looks up, after the dogs. Things like that. That's sick. That's sick. All right, well, I heard enough. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Thank you. Hey. Okay, uh, hey Alejandra. Hey Hannibal says you're on our side. My name is Alejandra. Nice to meet you. Hey, I see that big old Lincoln's head. What's that about? He is the great emancipator. He freed all the slaves over a hundred years before the bombs dropped. Hannibal mm. wants to make his memorial a symbol of hope and freedom for all slaves. Makes sense. So you used to be a slave too, Alejandra? Yes, for four years. Oh, I was awful. young and pretty. I don't need to tell was, you what you were. still are. He oh, liked no. me enough to educate me. Oh, that's I learned awful. reading, Poor history, girl. math, and even some science. When my master married, his wife insisted I get sold. <gasps> Hannibal bought me and freed me. Shallow master. Master got married, got rid of the hot slave. What a jerk. All right, well, I should have kept her as a mistress, right? Uh, anyways, why are you guys hiding here? What's up? We're all runaways. Hannibal wants to make this a place for all escaped slaves, but it's too small. Yeah, this place sucks. No, no offense. I mean, I see all that rubble behind you. Ugh, garbage. Uh, what do you do here, Alejandra? Oh God, please don't tell me you're still doing the the stuff you used to do for your old master. Do you do you happen to do the stuff you used to do for your old master, Alejandra? I mean, I I got some extra caps on me if you wanna. There's plenty of room back. There. I'm an historian. Oh, oh, historian. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. My dream is to build a shrine a historian. to oh. Abraham Lincoln. Oh. So, my, my apologies. I, psh, no, I wasn't asking about that, Alejandra. Psh, what? Take care of yourself. Uh, keep, keep, keep on with that history. Yep, 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 yep. No, I didn't say anything about caps or a room. What are you guys talking about? Y'all be tripping. I'm here to help the slaves. Anyways, <laughs> now our leading lady, Simone. So you let me in I here, Simone? I suppose you aren't as bad as I thought. Yeah. Most wastelanders wouldn't have agreed to help us. I'm pretty cool, huh? How about yourself? You don't look like much, stranger. Bet you run from rad roaches. I'm Simone Cameron. Excuse don't me, what? Don't fuck with me. Hannibal says I Excuse can't shoot me, you, what? But I ain't trusting you with a gun to my back. Simone! You know what? I bet you make love to that stone head. Goddamn rookie. That's Lincoln. <laughs> he freed some slaves a long time ago. If you want to know more, come listen to Hannibal give his speech. He does it right after the noon meal. Probably put me to sleep. But anyways, you guys all used to be slaves. That means you were a slave too, tough lady. Not for long. Me and my Merc crew were captured by slavers. Good. Seven months, I groveled and obeyed like a good lapdog. Yes, when I, I bet you chance, enjoyed it. I took it. I had nowhere else to go. Hannibal took me in. He never cared about my past. Yeah, the past is the past. Nobody cares about that. Um, well, you're not afraid. Well, since I'm so terrified of rad roaches, are you afraid that the slavers will ever come back? This place is the death of all slavers. 
maybe someday the death of slavery. Hannibal has a plan. We're too small right now, but someday we'll be big enough to take them on. Psh, all you need is us, me and Fox, you guys. We'll help them kick everybody's butts. <laughs> all the slavers' butts. In fact, you guys can come help escape these. Grab a gun, grab an assault rifle, we're going to war. Uh, what do you do here, Simone? Well, actually, I know what she does here. She's the, uh, the town tough lady who's uh, guarding everything. I shoot nosy people. Uh, I thought what so. What the hell do you think I do? I protect this place. I'm just asking Simone, all right? All right, jeez. Don't let me stop you. I'm going to help you anyway, so chill out. <laughs> the nerve of some of these wastelanders, my goodness. And then they demand help. They're not even nice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Is there a ringer? There's not even a ringer here. Beep, 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 beep. Door dash. <laughs> oh, I think she said, let yourself in. Yeah, she goes, let yourself in. Watch. Yeah, you can barely hear it. But she goes, let yourself in. Yeah. Oh, she says more than that. She goes, let yourself in. You have a key. Let yourself in. You have a key. Let yourself in. You have a key. Yeah, but I want somebody to open this door for me, lady. Come on. Let yourself in. Y'all you used to be slaves. You're not. You're not new to hard work. I'm so mean. I'm just joking. Hey, she was mean to me. So remember, she said I go. So what do you do around here? And she goes, I shoot nosy people. <gasps> oh no! It froze. But anyways. That means that I'm allowed to be a little rude to her, too. No, Frozen. I can't spell Frozen right. Darn it, that means, does that mean I have to talk to all those people again? I don't think I've saved it in ages, you guys. I know I haven't saved in ages. I haven't saved in years. <laughs> no. It's Frozen. It's Frozen, Venom, it's Frozen. Well, let me catch up with chat really, really quick, you guys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I know, does she do the hokey pokey? Does she really want to dance? <laughs> Sorry, Simone, you ain't my type. I know, right? She's not nice enough to be our type demon. <laughs> awesome, great to not be alone. Simon, Simon, yeah, let's call her Simon. Simon can eat Taco Bell for all I care. <laughs> then go and blast her restroom later. <laughs> Um, I've never, never ordered from DoorDash or Grubhub, but I know people, I know streamers that do cosplay NHL, and it's really, really good. They do recommend. Uh, a lot of people during quarantine that I was watching on stream, they only ordered from DoorDash or Grubhub. Uh, they also ordered from Uber Eats. How do I know? Because they always mentioned it. <laughs> Let me go get my Uber Eats. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'll be back stream. Yeah, I got to refresh, you guys. I'm sorry, I have to refresh. I gotta refresh the uh, the game. Broken hearts all around. <laughs> but thank you for hanging out, you guys. I've had a blast so far. It's been a really good stream, Escapees. And I, I do want to go for at least an hour longer. Because we've only been going for two hours. And I'm hoping to make this at least a three-hour stream. Uh, I'll get off at about 6 p.m. And I'll be back at 9, if that's cool. 9 p.m. my time. So Pacific Standard Time. That'll be midnight Eastern Time. So a little bit later, but... Trying to sped, spread the stream out a little bit, at least. Without, you know, staying live the entire time because of my butt hurts and stuff. Okay, let me refresh really quick. I apologize. I, I know. Terrible, terrible. Should come back soon. Cool. Oh, we're back now. Hey. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Okay, let me fix the headset because that probably desynced you. All right. <laughs> Thanks, demon. Gone for a tiny bit. Actually, why did we, uh... 
why'd we purple screen right there? Now that was weird. I wasn't touching anything or I wasn't in any menus or anything. But we still purple screened. Jedi. After I talk to all the slavers, so I might have to talk to them again, but I'll do it really fast, I promise. We won't have to go through the whole spiel. Dang, that sucks, because I had not saved in a long time. I think we killed all those death claws, all those enclave peeps. Oof. Oof. That, oh man, hey, well, take some advice or, you know, learn from my mistakes, you guys. Save often. Oh jeez, no, we're back at the, oh wow, we're way back. Remember where we saw that flying death claw? <laughs> Which was another weird thing that happened on stream today. Wow, you're so far back. Where is that Temple of the Union? Where is the Temple of the Union? Oh, it's right here, okay. Oh man. I know I can't even fast travel over there because we haven't found it yet. Sorry, I know. Nobody's fault, it was just the game froze, unfortunately. What a poop. Oh, if you wanna, um, you wanna check your soul gems, Venom, excuse me, it should be exclamation soul gems in the chat. Okay, hey, have a good rest of your night, have some fun, watch some good shows, definitely. If you have a show that you're in particular that you're watching, let us know about it next time, too. All right, you guys, that's Jedi. He is an awesome streamer. He's a member of the 111 Savage Legion. Please feel free to check out his stream. And thank you for the Friday hype, too, Jedi. I forgot to say thank you so much for the Friday shout out uh, over on Twitter, too. I appreciate that a lot. Yay. But yeah, feel free to check out Jedi, you guys. He's also a fellow vault dweller. He loves the Bethesda games, loves the RPGs, and other first person shooter games as well. I would definitely check it out. Oh no, living legend. Put out the fire now. Um, so far nothing, nothing for me with the buffering. I am watching on my other screen over here. Oh, the bit rate is low, so it could be, could be a little uh, frame droppage. No piercer. Ooh, that's interesting. I've actually not, not heard of no piercer. Oh, I think I did see Venom's uh, comment earlier, though. That was funny. Venom said something about throwing Canadian bacon. <laughs> I was like, Venom! My goodness. Alrighty, Demon. We'll see you soon, I hope. Oh, on Netflix. I'll have to check it out then. I do have Netflix. Ah, this is where we killed those outcasts. And the Talon Company that I found. Remember when I was like, Talon Company are synths? Oh, this is, oh, shoes! Get out of there, Fox! Well, I did warn him. Oh, oh! Whoa! Oh, oh my goodness! Jesus, spamming that A button. Who else runs up to these frag mines and just goes, because that's how I do it. I just look at the ground, I'm like... <laughs> pressing A as many times as I can. This is the Grizzly Diner. Oh, I've never been through the back. We were just at the front. Keller Family Transcript. I've not found any of these yet. What's this? What's this? Let me take a little listen here. Ah, uh, notes. Candace. Oh my god, it's really happening. Oh, the bomb's dropping. I can see the cloud. It's so big. Mom, I'm so scared. Ooh. I'm heading to the vault now. I'll do whatever I can to get inside. My number of the passcode was seven, right? Heading to the vault, and there's a passcode. Where's the nearest vault? Vault 92, isn't it? Still a distance away. You gotta go past Ol Olney. Oof, good luck there. So yeah, she would have had to have taken this route, road. Or the other one, the freeway. So 
So somebody named Candace went over to the vault. And the vault needs a passcode. Hmm. Interesting. It's a shame we didn't find this bed earlier. We could have saved it right here. Oops. Oh, I'm just trying to grab the drugs. I'm not trying to sleep. Look at this. Extra weapons. Chinese assault rifle. Same type I use. Nods. I do pick up frag mines. Sometimes I don't use them. <laughs> but I do. I started selling them though. I do happen to sell them now. Oh, you're doing some 76? Excellent. Welcome back, living legend. Bye, Jedi. What are you at to live in legend? You chilling today? Hi. Oh god. Oh I'm uh, I'm over encumbered. Oh wow, he just he just shot somebody point blank. Oh, wow. Alright, let me just fix a couple of these items here. Boop. Alright, there we go. Now we can walk around. Oh my goodness! We're getting jumped! <laughs> We're getting jumped by raiders! Well, good thing I got my flamer. Oh, this is the grizzly diner. Yuck! Oh! Hello! Your wow, that's what she gets. Bring in a gun, a measly gun to a flamethrower battle. Wow, here's the grizzly diner, you guys. Gross. I do not remember coming into, uh, into this area last stream. I mean, uh, before the game crash. I got plenty of alcohol here. Oof. Oh my goodness, they skinned this person alive! I mean, maybe not alive, but they definitely skinned this person. I do not feel bad. Oh, look, that's a trap. I do not feel bad taking out these raiders now. <laughs> There's some gruesome people, man. Look at that, skulls with the fork and a knife? Oh, jeez. Just putting two and two together, they might be cannibals. I mean, you do funny things when you're under the influence of alcohol, which, uh, speaking of that, <laughs> you like taking one at least. Alright, now what do you guys got over here? Still want to steal. Oh, you eating some cheesecake? Oh, sounds good. What kind of cheesecake? I actually, oh, I really, really like the, uh, I really like the chocolate cheesecake. It's delicious. Now can I, I did activate that. Can I, <laughs> can I step on it? The seeds to roll all over it. Ooh, tales of a junk town jerky vendor. Sweet. Raises our bartering skill up a little bit. Cool. Oh, I think I, yes, in this oven, I need that pilot light. Pilot light is one of the ingredients that you use to make a shish kebab, which is that flaming blade thing. So I've only created a railway rifle so far. All right, did I uh, did I loot you guys yet? Nope, have not. Take that hunting rifle right there. That assault rifle as well. I think this is around the time that I had to have. Uh, fox back there carry some of my items, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, yeah, he gets to carry the sniper rifle and all that. You have something to say? Yes, I do. Oh, Rusty Bucket, thank you for the 100 biddies. Woo, we got some biddies. Thank you so much. Guys, please drop some biddies love, biddies hype. Yay, it helps out a lot, Rusty Bucket. Thank you for the $1. Woo, woo. Yes, we got a dollar escapees. Uh, let me see what Rusty Bucket ooh, says. First time here, Fallout 3 is best gang. Small arms is best. Big wembits is big lame. This post was made by the Agility Gang. Agility Gang hype. If you are not floating over those rocks, you're not fast enough. <laughs> if you're not floating over those rocks, you don't have enough agility. Agility Gang hype. Thank you so much, Rusty Bucket. Yay! Oh, stream popped up when you looked at Fallout 3. Hey, well, welcome in. I am one of those weird cheesy streamers, so I don't have a real notification for the bits, but I can give you a manual in here. So 
for Rusty Bucket. Thank you for the hundred biddies. It means a lot. Sorry, my lips are a little dry. <clears throat> Yay! Thank you so much for that, I appreciate it. I also have another one. Thank you, Rusty Bucket. Thank you. Also, Hell Walking Demon. What? Now we have a notification sound for that for sure. <laughs> Hark now, what do I hear? Hell Walking Demon. Thank you so much for ascending. Woo! Subscribe to your one. First month in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you, Hell Walking Demon. Thank you, Rusty Bucket. You guys are awesome. Yay. Thank you earlier too, Sheehan. You rock too. Sheehan also ascended earlier. Uh, yes, let's trade some yes. stuff. Oh, thank you, demon. <laughs> You're too kind. You are way too kind. I'm trying to work on the uh, streaming schedule. I know, unfortunately, like even today, sometimes life happens. Uh, today, my mom went to go leave some flowers at my, uh, over uh, in Zilla, where my grandma's buried. And because uh, her birthday was just a few days ago, it was on the 6th of July. And, excuse me, the 7th of July. And so, uh, yes. Oh, you did? Chacho has a new car now. Mm -hmm. No, we didn't take any, uh, we didn't sign anything else other than the We took pictures of it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I mean, you know, as long as uh, Amber doesn't get mad or want the car back or anything. Keep it as an extra car and let him borrow it, maybe. Or remember, remember when, when yeah. uh, it was under your name, one of the cars, and then he had an accident, yeah, and then they, yeah, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> uh, my uh, my nephew came over to sell my brother, which is his dad, uh, his car. So my nephew sold my brother his car, and my mom came in right now, and she's like, I don't know if I want to put it under his name. <laughs> Because then it'll definitely be my bro's car, right? And my bro, if you guys been around the stream, well, you know, he's not doing the best, making the best decisions. Uh, but anyways, um, I, I was telling her, yeah, but remember when you didn't, you know, put his name on the title and stuff? He had gotten into an accident over in Seattle. And because they didn't know, he was like a hit and run. So because they didn't know who it was, they went after, they got the license plate. They went after the person whose name was on the title, which was my mom. And she started getting in trouble, so... And then she was like, oh, no, you don't. And she had to put the finger on my brother and be like, you own up to your mistake and stuff. <laughs> so that was a whole little fiasco. But yeah, that was what that little interruption was about right there. Oh, well, thank you, demon. I appreciate it. I don't know. I was asking too, NHL, what are you guys doing for the weekend? I think I'm just chilling. I'll probably be uh, playing some game on stream. Uh, probably not Sunday, though. I'll definitely be here Saturday. Sunday, I like to take at least one day off so that I can play games on my lonesome. On my lonesome by myself. Uh, for example, this past week when I wasn't streaming, I was playing Fallout 3 on my off time, and that's where I picked up a lot of these side quests. I, uh, if I saw anything like weird happening in the game, I would just, you know, remember the area and then, or uh, find the location and then peace out. I was like, oh, I'll save this for stream. Yes. Jian is working and hopefully streaming. Nice. Woo! -hoo. All right, let's see here. Uh, okay. What was I? Oh yeah, I'm trying to give Fox and stuff. And then, 
Nice then I'm gonna run back over to. Let me get over. Um, yes, to the temple. Okay, so we do have the quest marker set there. Well, that was the grizzly diner. It does look grizzly. <laughs> Name checks out. Psh, there was a lot of grizzly stuff in there for sure. Oh my god, you're right. Thank you for reminding me. Because I did forget. <laughs> I did forget badly. So if I if we come into this area, we're gonna go into the Temple of the Union. I apologize, you guys, if I'm gonna like rush through it. We just had a game crash not too long ago. It was about what, like 15 minutes ago. So, um, and I lost all this progress. I talked to everybody in the Temple of Union. I agreed with them, told them I was gonna help them out. Uh, so I'm just gonna rush through all those dialogue options again, if that's okay. I do have a save command. I think it says save it and shave it. <laughs> yep, save it and shave it. But yeah, anybody wants to use that, that is open and available. I also have a win command if we actually win. I have a hype command to hype something. <laughs> What's up, Lawless? Oh my god, I love this game too. 500 hours, yep, that's insane. I'm not sure if I can check right now, but let's see. I have 141 hours in this playthrough that we've been streaming on. Um, and that's Rhea 101. Let's see, Gia the Wanderer. So this is a different character. She's got 133 hours. Gia regular has, ah, this character only has three hours on her. Gia the Wanderer was the first time I played Fallout 3 on stream, I think. And then I just took that file and I started playing on my own. <laughs> but yeah, now we are officially the farthest that I've been in Fallout 3 in many, 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 many years. So there's a lot of stuff that I have forgotten. So it's not blind playthrough, but a lot of it feels like a blind playthrough. Like yesterday, Tenpenny dying, even though I didn't want him to die, I had forgotten about that 100%. But yeah, 141 hours and then 133 for that other one. That'd be about 200 and some, 200 and something hours. 220 maybe. But yeah, high five. Oh my god, I feel you. And that's just my playthrough from, you know, this lifetime. My childhood lifetime. Oh god. Oh geez, there's probably many, many, many more hours there. Eat fire. Oh geez, he's gonna make me eat fire. Eat fire, Scorp. Oh, oh my god, I turned too crazy right there. Oh, the poison though. Dang, it's that venom that gets you. Sorry, venom. <laughs> Talking about some other venom here. The kind that poisons your blood. Uh, I think I will take a stim pack. I try not to use them all the time, but you know what? Oh, I got 50 stim packs. Might as well start using them. All right, we're ringing around the rosy here. Good, I think I busted one of his legs. Woo! Oh god, I'm reloading. Hold your horse. Okay. Come on, this thing's slow. Woo! There we are. Man, those albino scorpions, dude, they take a lot. And I am playing on very hard as well. So that's why if the enemies seem like they are not dying, it's probably because they're not. <laughs> they're just taking a bit of extra ammunition to kill. I know, it's so true, Lawless, it is so true. Uh, there's, yes, just even with this new playthrough, there's so many weird things, and weird as in good weird, but there's so many like strange things that we find during our different playthroughs. Uh-oh, like look at this. There's some peeps hanging around a lone refrigerator. Oh my goodness, what is this about? We didn't see this Back last on. playthrough. Get out of here. Oh, 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 it's uh, ghouls, and they're not very happy. He said, last warning, get out of here. I'm going to save it and go harass them. <laughs> Let's bother these peeps. What's going on here? You, back on. Get out of here. I want to see what's in this fridge. <gasps> Purified waters. Mine now. Uh, oh, oh, they're so bad. 
Now, who did they kill? <gasps> An escaped slave! Poor lady. And another escaped slave. Poor dude. Apparently, he's got no head, but he has a head wrap. I'm taking that head wrap. I know. Well, you know what? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just calling it like I see it. I think these wastelanders killed these slaves. If I'm wrong, well, you know what? The law of the commonwealth, excuse me, the law of the capital wasteland will come and strike me down, okay? <laughs> and if we're not wrong, then yay, we get free stuff. Woo! Oh, actually, I need that outfit too. I actually use the roving trader outfit as well when I'm trying to haggle the best deals, the best caps. I also use that too. Uh, okay, let's see. Roby Trader outfit, see? Mine's almost broken. All right, we don't need that one then. Extra, oops! Cool. We're good though? I did pick up a uh, hunting rifle, didn't I? Yeah, several of them. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and use them to repair Old Painless. Old Painless is a nice hunting rifle that we just received by doing the Republic of Dave questline recently. Bye, lady. Man, what a waste. This lady's hot. Oh, well, let's burn her alive. Whoops. Well, we can't leave a nice hot body there. You don't want the necromancers. I mean, uh... <laughs> the necromancers. You don't want the uh, the necrophiles to come out. If you don't know what necrophilia is, good for you. You're an innocent person. Stay that way. If you do know what it is, ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no head. I know. I tried to burn her. Uh, it didn't work so well. She just exploded. But that works too. <laughs> Yes, yes, I love it too, Rusty Bucket, 100% correct. Oh, thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. But yeah, even today, we saw, we literally saw, and I have to go back and highlight it and stuff, we saw like from this distance, for example, there was a death claw that, I don't know how it made its way up to the tower, but it was fighting a raider on top of a tower balcony, and then just out of nowhere, whoosh, the death claw whoosh, flies up into the sky and he disappears. And the raider too, she's like, she was shooting at it, and she's like, and then she just stays like that for the longest time, like, the death claw is up there somewhere. I could never find it, never seen the death claw again. That was insane. <laughs> but yes, it's true, you do see a lot of random encounters, a lot of random strange battles. I'll see the Talon Company fighting the Enclave, I'll see the Enclave fighting the Outcasts, I'll see the Brotherhood of Steel members fighting death claws. I'll see Deathclaws fighting Mirelurks. Oh gosh. All sorts of enemies fighting each other. Okay, so just before the game did unfortunately crash, we had made our way over here. What's your business, stranger? Told Simone not to shoot us. Um, I'm just looking. Hannibal says I gotta let. I'm All right, she lets us in. I ring the doorbell like one of those annoying peeps. Come on! Open the yes, crate. that's locked, and yes, I can see you eyeing it. Well, open it up. Hannibal is upstairs somewhere. I'm locking the door behind you, so don't try anything. I'm watching you. She locks the door, but Fox is able to get back in. So I cap on her, and I tell her that her lock picking skill is not good enough. <laughs> if somebody like Fox who can break in. Oh wow. Ah, a visitor. Welcome to the Temple of the Union. Okay, there's I'm Hannibal not going to here. Ask you who you... He don't care who we are. He only lets us go by if we serve to protect him and his loyal band of escaped slaves. Welcome, That's who sister. They are. Yep. As a symbol. He gives us the key to the gate, and then I go, "What's that stone head?" Which is actually right behind my camera. Uh, you can see Abraham Lincoln right there. You can see a little bit on top of my head. <laughs> And so I'm going to ask him, what's that stone That's head? Abraham Lincoln, the That's great Abe Lincoln. He freed the slaves. Wow. Did you used to be a slave? 23 years. 23 Six years he was. When I and I then found he finally founded this Temple of the Union. Indeed. Uh, what are you guys doing we here? We're trying to make a safe haven. We're going to make a we safe haven. And yep. And they also want to go make a safe haven over at that new spot. Uh, yes. 
We don't have enough room. There's but I have a plan. A plan to take over a place that will be a shining beacon of hope so for all So that's his slaves. main quest that he senses on right here. I go, sounds dangerous. What, do you, what place are you trying to take over? I want to move all my people to the memorial site for the great Abraham Lincoln, but I need to know if it's safe. Okay. I've heard... Uh, he says there's super mutants there. I'm going to tell him, hey, don't worry about the super mutants. There's actually slavers at that very memorial. Slavers? Dear God, they must know about our plans. Somehow they do. Before you leave... Then he tells me that um, I need to take care of those slavers in whatever way I can. Also, if you're just coming in, I'm skipping through this because we did go through this dialogue and then the game crashed and I didn't save it, so oops. That's why we're skipping through. I don't normally mason. skip through at all. It will all. fall to him to restore the memorial as best. He's and he tells us to help Caleb because Caleb's the, the stonemason who's going to restore stuff. You. We talk to Caleb over here. Caleb says he is a stonemason. He wants to restore the Lincoln Memorial, but he needs a picture of it because he doesn't know what it looked like before. So let's go find Caleb. But yeah, normally I do not skip through dialogue. Only reason I'm doing it is because we were here just a few minutes ago. Before the game crashed. Uh, Caleb! Oh, the oh there you are. You're new. I'm Caleb. Yep. Hannibal, Hannibal said told he you needs about something. Me. Well, he, he doesn't just want to live there. He also wants to restore it. But I can't restore something if I don't know what it looked like. Oh, where am I supposed to get a picture? Our ancestors honored Lincoln's life with a display in the Museum of History. Probably in the Museum of History. Cool. So what's your story? The stone head is from the statue of oh, Abraham one. Lincoln. Hannibal wants me to reattach it to the statue in the memorial. Oh, okay. It Long used to be a ago. slave? Eight years, I think. Mm. Three. Why not go? We are the only hope for runaway. Oh, okay. We are. What do My you do? My former master trained me in masonry. I fix things. Good. Someday I hope to reattach Lincoln's head to the statue in the memorial. Cool. All right. Okay. Sounds great. And then we talked to the rest of the, the escaped slaves. Alejandra told us she used to be like a, an escort or whatever. Uh, Simone, I don't know what Simone was. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. Oh, I want to hear the story of Abe Lincoln. Wait. Hold on, I want to see story time. child, he could not bear to see any animal chained or imprisoned. He was even known to set free the family Brahmin on occasion. Oh, he As a youth, Brahmin Abraham free. Lincoln fought raiders in the War of the Black Hawks. When the war ended, he settled down to rule the Lenoy, a small tribe of free men. He grew so famous that one day he was made president. He ruled over all the land. When he declared that all slaves must be freed, the slavers rebelled against his rule. Excuse they fought me. a great war, which Lincoln won. When he came to free the slaves, an assassin of the slavers struck him down. In the confusion, a few of the slavers escaped. Lincoln's generals hunted them, but could not find them. The <laughs> That's an interesting the history. Lincoln, but we will resurrect his voice. We will restore the greatness of his vision, where all men are created equal, and all men can live free. <laughs> nice, I like your gestures right there. Jeez, he's like, we will restore, yes. <laughs> Reminds you of Cats, the movie. They have a little whoosh, a little dance like that too. We will restore, yes. <laughs> exactly, Cosme, yeah, this lady trust, or excuse sound. me, this dude trusted us right away. Simone didn't trust us, but the dude did. <laughs> True, Rusty, I didn't even notice that. She did boop the floor though. Boop the floor to open the door. Sir, I have some sewing for you. Look in my room. <laughs> Republic of Soul, oh Lord. It'd be chaos right away, NHL. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Rusty Bucket! With the other 100 biddies! Thank you, dude! I appreciate that. Rusty Bucket with another 100 biddies hype. Yay, much love, Rusty! Oh, man! The only sad part is I already played the, uh, <laughs> the two songs that I know on clarinet. I should have saved one. Let's see. What else I've been working on? No, I appreciate that. Thank you. Woo. I know I have. My, I leave my clarinet right in front of the fan. Well, because the fan's right there, so it dries out. 
The reed, or the part that I lick a lot is called the reed. That must stay nice and moist. I'm trying to remember Legend of Zelda's theme. Uh, hmm. Oh well. Check that out. <laughs> I haven't played that one in a while, so I had to remember that last part. Oh, a water fountain! Hell yeah! I played that last note. It's crazy. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Cassidy. I know I had to think of something really on the fly. Oh, yeah, I didn't know the so Song of Storms. Yep. I started. Oh, my goodness, Cassidy. We're on the same mind length. I played that before I saw I it. I suppose you aren't as bad as I thought. Most wastelanders <laughs> yes. would to help us. I can't believe you said that, Cassidy. That's cool. Because that was. That's the only. I was like, oh, crap. What other song do I know? Oh, we're supposed to do Song of Storms. <laughs> that's really cool. A4 score! Good boy! Rub his head. <laughs> that was cool, Kasri. And thank you, Rusty Bucket. That was a manual Biddy's notification. I used to have a real Biddy sound notification, and it would just, it was kind of boring too. It would just go, Burr! you know, it'd tell me that, oh, somebody dropped Biddy's. But for some reason, it won't play the MP3, Streamlabs won't play the MP3 file. Even though I've never moved it, it's still in the music mp3 folder. Um, or music folder, excuse me, with the other mp3s. But for some reason, that's the only sound file that doesn't play. So I was like, well fine, I'll just play music on my clarinet then. <laughs> but that'll be something that's a little bit different, I guess. Not every streamer plays clarinet. I'm sure a lot of them do though, but not all of them, so I figured that could be our thing a little bit. Okay, so um, I'm sorry that I did rush through Temple of the Union. We did talk to them earlier. Basically, let's go and finish. I'm going to do Caleb's part of the quest. So Caleb wants me to get... Did I... Uh, did I take Caleb's? Huh. Okay, yes, yes it is. Okay, it's it's literally the first bullet point. Get a picture of Lincoln Memorial. I was like, did I take Caleb's quest? I thought it was going to be a whole separate bullet point. Not, you know, not connected with head of state. But it is. Okay. I see here. So let's start Caleb's quest line. He wants us to go to the Museum of History and pick up Lincoln, a picture of Lincoln's memorial. Um, I guess just... There we go, so I don't get too lost. <laughs> Even though they're all, all the quest records are pointing to the same spot. Still. We must walk <laughs> you just like most Zelda games. After, man, after you played one Zelda, you pretty much played them all. I mean, you know, Wing Waker was a little different. Uh, Twilight Princess was a little different. They are a little different, but the basic structure is pretty much the same. I agree. It's the, uh, you fight those first either three, first three bosses, and then you go on to the other eight elements, and then you have three bosses to fight at the end, or it's fight the eight bosses, and then fight three. That's usually how the uh, most of the Zelda games work, in my experience. But I do have a favorite. My favorite's the first one I played, and that was Link to the Past. Not the, not, it is the one that was uh, remastered recently, but I've never played that one. I, I like the old to the past. Or no, 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 Link's Awakening, excuse me, Link's Awakening, which was also remastered recently, but not that one. I like the old Link's Awakening. He wakes up on a beach and it all turns out to be some kind of crazy dream. And 
Yeah, that was a weird one. All right, we're coming up to this military truck. What? I didn't even bat an eye. I just walked up to it. There could have been enemies anywhere. I like the older ones too, guys. Um, my nephew had Minish Cap when he was on the Nintendo DS, and so I did get to play Minish Cap when he let me borrow it, and I don't know, it was a cute game and stuff, but I felt like, and it's really sad because I think Fallout's kind of going this way too, but I felt like Zelda got a little bit cartoony. I know, and like the new Link's Awakening and stuff, yuck. I mean, I'm sorry, especially if you like it, definitely, it's a good game. I remember the storyline, it was awesome. But the graphics, though, it's a little too cartoony for me. I'm like, nope, I want my slightly more realistic Legend of Zelda. And then same with Fallout. Like, I hate to be rude, because I do like Fallout 76. But in my... Oh, God! Oh, my goodness, not again! Again! I told you there were death claws that fly in the air. Oh, my God! He's back! No, he's killing the Brahmin! That's his distraction technique, isn't it? Well, actually, I hate you too, Enclave. I'm just gonna watch. Oh my god, again! Oh, and he's back! What on earth, dude? Oh, the Enclave saw me too. I'm just gonna... Oh, there's more! There's multiple death claws. Holy crap. I'm just gonna watch. I'm quite curious. Oh my gosh! He's on fire and he's going! I have no idea what's going on today, you guys. Where's he at? Well, that's one way to get rid of him. Oh my god, oh my god, where's he at? Where's he at? He's back here? Oh, it's the, uh, the Enclave scum. Damn it. Get over here, Enclave, dude. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, thank you so much! Oh, it's Nimmy! Hi, Nim! Oh my god, Nim! There's some crazy stuff going on right now. There's death claws flying in the air. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I got some crazy dude shooting me with an incinerator. Oh god. Oh, ooh, ooh. Alright, he's getting me good. He's getting me good. Let's get a little aid here. <laughs> Death claws flying in the air, that's crazy. <laughs> see, I love the laser rifle because it does stun. If you can see this enemy that I'm shooting, he's getting stunned at least every two or three shots. He'll be like, whoa, whoa, and you know, he can't make a move. <gasps> Hello? Oh, stop. oh no, more of them! Where are you guys coming from? Get out of here. I know, what the heck? And why do we gotta fight with the Brahmer? Is that the Talon Company? That's the Talon Company he just killed. What? Oh my goodness. All enemies diverge in this one area. In the Brahmin fields, you guys. Get out of here, Brahmin. Get out, Brahmin. No! No, we're friends, Brahmin! No! Don't hit me, it's the Enclave you want to kill. Those guys. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Brahmin. All right, well, you know what? I'm going to have some good loot tonight. Mm -mm -mm. Don't mind me, I'm just grabbing some steak. It's your fault, Enclave. Brahmin wouldn't have got... Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Brahmin wouldn't have gotten mad if you weren't standing right in front of them. This guy is a cheater. He uses my tactics. Oh, I'm sorry, Roman. Oh, Lord. Well, you know what? Oh, I, you know what? I'll put my I'll put my gun away. Heard some enemies chill out when you do that. No, no, Fox. No. Not all Brahmin were bad. Oh well. <laughs> Let it be known I tried my best to save them. I didn't want to hurt the wildlife. I just wanted to hurt the damn enclave. <laughs> but I won't let that meat go to waste, though, you know. Come on. <laughs> Come on, there's people starving. We gotta eat that. There's people starving in the capital wasteland. I can't leave that fresh Brahmin meat to go to waste. Oh, who's that? 
Who's that? Show yourself. Where are you at? Stop hiding in that bush. I don't know where you're at in that bush, but I have enough bullets to find out. You know what? Get you. I don't know where you are or who you are, but here. Take a couple of those. Get out of here, scum. Don't know who that was. <laughs> Hopefully they died. What have you got on your mind? Oh god, way too much now. Way yes. too much now, Fox. By all means, let's take my Hellfire armor. <laughs> um, anyways, you guys, thank you so much, Nimi. I appreciate that was a weird and strange battle. We had Death Claws flying in the air. We had the Enclave show up. There were already Enclave there. We had the Talon Company show up from behind. It was like, what is going on? The, the Death Claws that flew away never came back. One of them was on fire. <laughs> uh, but hark now, what did I hear? I heard Nimi ascending in the stream. Thank you so much, Nim. Let's see the months. Let's see the months. 34 months. I think Nim is definitely, he should have one of those first, um, first subscriber badges, I think. Definitely. He's got the VIP, the beautiful VIP. I've never seen that before today too, Kasumi. Dang, death claws flying in the hair. Uh, flying in the hair, flying in the air. Myth hacker, I see you up there and Mr. Comment, I apologize. Breath of the Wild was a sick Legend of Zelda game, Re Rusty. I like that one too. Same, Kasumi, I like the ones that you list as well. Link to the Past, Awakening, Ocarina of Time was awesome. Majora's Mask is one that I didn't get to play, but I heard was amazing. That's one that I do want to play. Adventure of Link. Ooh, I'll have to check that one out, uh, NHL. Personally hate the direction, me too, Rusty Bucket. Uh, Rusty says, I personally hate the direction that Fallout's going. Fallout 76 goofed up big time by being a bad game in general, but I really like its perk system. I do like those cards too, I agree. Except for I wish we could go back, you know when you max out a card, um, I, and sometimes you start maxing out, or you start adding points to other cards. Uh, I wish there was a way to go from like a uh, maxed out card back to one that was like only three points or so. Because sometimes I end up, you know, I don't math correct. <laughs> and then I'm like, crap, now this card doesn't fit here. Oh. But yeah, Fallout 4 was more shooter than RPG, true. Oh, Fallout, I hope Fallout 5 is better, true. I hope Elder Scrolls, oh my god, I hope they don't goof up Elder Scrolls 6, true. Um, do you guys hear anything about Starfield? I haven't heard anything new, but um, I did hear last time that it's pretty much all the way complete, and they're going to release it sometime next year, so that'll be interesting. Starfield is Bethesda's virgin. Virgin. Oh god, soul. Uh, it probably is a virgin. No, uh, Starfield is Bethesda's version of an outer space RPG type game. Which is pretty cool. Nimi, thank you for the 34 months, dude. I look like I got here just in the right time. Something, something, something. Welcome to the Brahmin fields. Like a quadruple battle cost me. We had a war in this poor Brahmin field area. Enclave versus me versus Brahmin versus Talon Company versus the flying death claws. Oof. What's worse than a regular death claw? Flying death claw on fire. <laughs> it's gonna be some steak tacos, true. What's up, Reed Dog? How are you doing? Some delicious steak tacos. <laughs> I think he's dead. Yeah, and then the Brahmin too, Gossamy. They start. I don't know, I must have accidentally shot that one Brahmin, but yeah, they started getting all riled up too. I actually just got back on 76 Nimi, and uh, I messed with my inventory because it was all out of whack. And I saw those new quests they added for uh, Wastelanders DLC. But same here. Before that, I hadn't touched in weeks and weeks and weeks. Yeah, you have to. Yes, true, Rusty. You gotta uh, get a whole new card and then find more to raise them up to the level that you want, but not all the, not all the way maxed. <laughs> Starfield is Bethesda's virgin virgin i'm gonna you know what we actually do have a quote system that i haven't added to in ages <laughs> and if y'all want to add that quote that's fine too i think it's quote add
And <laughs> Starfield is Bethesda's version. Virgin. Uh, so right now, you guys, we are headed over to... I don't think we'll have enough time to complete everything that I want to do today, but that's okay, because I'm going to be back at 9, 9 p.m. or so. So we'll continue with more Temple of the Union quests. But um, I do want to... Uh, I want at least, right now, we can we at least have time to go over to the museum and pick up... What do we need to pick up? Oh, with that picture of Lincoln's memorial. Nice. So, follow. met up with a couple of escape slaves, not slavers, but the escape slaves. And one of them is a restorer, a restorationist, or he's a masonry, masonry guy. So he wants to restore the... Uh, Lincoln's memorial, but he doesn't know what it looks like, you know, he's like, I need to have some type of or At least a picture or something so I know what I'm restoring So I'm like, okay, we'll go get you a picture. So I think we have time for that at least you guys Yay. What have you got on your mind? <laughs> and I shall follow That's him Yes, by all means What special key? Nice. Oh, no Oh, you're right. I did kind of switch the mission too, Nimi. So I was looking for some special keys, and it was a quest from the underground from Mr. Crowley. Mr. Crowley's a ghoul that tells me that he knows a couple of ghoul bigots, like the people who lived in Tenpenny Tower who were like, oh, ghouls are disgusting. We hate them. He tells me he knows that there's a whole bunch of ghoul bigots. He's got a list of them, and he'd like me to go shoot them in the head and collect their special keys. And so, you know, I believed him. I'm pretty gullible. I believed him right away. I was like, okay, you know, I, I believe some people hate ghouls. It's true. It's true. And uh, so I agree. I agree to help lovely Mr. Crowley. Uh, and we go over to the first person. The first person happens to be Dave from the Republic of Dave. So he finishes quest line, et cetera, et cetera. And Dave tells us, since he's a good buddy of ours, he says... Or I ask him, I go, hey, who's Mr. Crowley? I don't tell him anything about how I got to kill him, nothing like that. I just nonchalantly ask, hey, uh, does the name Crowley, you know, ring a bell? And Dave goes, oh, yeah, I know Crowley. Wow, I haven't heard about him in a while. Uh, he was a friend that we thought died because he saw Crowley get locked into a room with a whole bunch of other ferals. Keep in mind, though, Crowley himself is a ghoul. And so... Uh, What's his name mentions? He goes, yeah, I don't, I, I'm not sure. Come to think of it, ghouls don't attack other ghouls, do they? Hmm. And so I tell him, dude, Crowley's not dead. He's, uh, <laughs> he's alive and he wants me to kill you and take your key. And Dave's like, what? What the hell? And I go, I know, why? what the hell? He said you're a ghoul bigot. And he's like, I'm not a ghoul bigot. And I'm like, well, that's what he's saying. And he goes, no, 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 no. The reason that Crowley needs the key is because we need four keys in order to open the door in Fort Constantine. And I go, oh, and he goes, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't that cool of a conversation, but <laughs> add a little spice to it. Um, but yeah, that's the gist of it. Crowley lied. He told me I needed to get four keys from these ghoul assholes, you know, ghoul haters. And it turns out that the people he wants dead are not really ghoul haters, or maybe they are, but that's not the real reason he wants those keys. He wants the keys because there's probably some type of treasure. So I was telling stream, I'm like, well, now that I know that there's treasure there, <coughs> I want it too. <laughs> so instead of killing these people uh, for Crowley, I'm actually kind of talking to them and stuff. And then I got sidetracked on another side mission. Oof. But now we're actually helping uh, a dude named Caleb find a picture of the... You have something to say? Yeah, take some of my stuff. Yes. Uh, I need to help them find a picture. Let's of the Lincoln Memorial before it got all busted down. I don't think I need the hunting rifle at the moment. Sorry, I'm a little over encumbered here. Just a little bit. How's my battle armor doing? Oh, I could repair it. Cool. And I shall yeah, exactly. I should have just said that, Rusty. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Lusty? Hey, thank you so much for that. Guys, Lusty Bard raided us last time. Thank you so much, Lust. I appreciate that. I'm sorry if I was a little lackluster during that stream. Uh, and I had been dealing with some crazy stuff that's been going on lately. Even today, 
beginning of the stream, first person to come in, I took a screenshot, if you don't believe me, I will post it later. First person to come in, somebody I've known for years, just nonchalantly just has to, you know, mention that they're streaming again. And it's like, man, every single day there's somebody that comes in and talks about their streams. I just, I guess I can't escape it. So I have to like change my mindset, not let it bother me and just, you know, deal with it other ways. <laughs> Because it bothered me that big time that one day. It did, it did. Yeah, it was for Mr. Crowley, Nim. Did I give you a shout out, Nim? Guys, if you've not checked him out, Nimmy is also a member of the Savage Legion. We saw Sparky here earlier. We had Jedi. Jedi just left. He, uh, he went to go watch some TV. He's watching some Netflix and stuff. But yeah, if you haven't checked out Nimmy, you guys, he's also a fellow Vault Dweller. Plays a lot of Fallout games, plays a lot of... Uh, Fallout 76 back in the day, or you know, six weeks ago at least, <laughs> two months ago. Um, but yeah, overall, he's a great streamer, you guys. It's super awesome. I wish I could be in his channel more, but UK time, unfortunately for me, I'm waking up a little bit later in the US time as well. Ugh, I'm trying not to, I'm trying to wake up, you know, nine o'clock in the morning again, Nim, so I can at least catch, you know, a bit of your stream. But unfortunately, I've been waking up around noon, so I think that's like about. 9 or 10 p.m. UK time. By that time, Nimi's finished. I believe. Fort Constantine treasure, exactly. What's up, Lusty? Very good to hear you, or very good to see you. Yeah, it's just been a pain, and I just haven't been dealing with it the right way. I've been letting that self-promotion that shouldn't get to me, get to me. Oh, back on ESO? ESO is awesome. Very, very good. One. How are you doing today, Lusty? He's an actual bard. But, uh, oh yeah, it's six o'clock, so let me go ahead and get this thing. Uh, right now I'm just doing the first part of my short stream. I've been trying to cut my long streams in half. So three hours in the daytime and three hours at night. And right now we're working on our first stream of the day. We hit that three hour mark. Well, I'm like, oh, better rush it along. I'll be back at 9 p.m. though. And right now, right now, if we're just coming in, dude, we just saw some crazy stuff. We saw Death Claws flying in the air, which reminds me, I need to put a... You battle him, Fox. Uh, I need to add a stream marker, because we had flying Death Claws. And that is actually not the first time I've seen a flying Death Claw today. <laughs> we saw flying Death Claws two times today. I thought of Brahmin again. Leave the Brahmin alone. We need one at least. I mean, the whole field of Brahmin got killed. It was sad. I like Brahmin, they're innocent. They don't do anything. Oh, I picked up that incinerator and I think I have another one, right? Oh, I just gave it to Fox. What have you Sorry. got on your mind? Inventory stuff, you know yes. how it is, Fox. By all means. <laughs> Inventory yes. stuff, you know what time it is. All right, I'll take that heavy incinerator. And there was another, yeah, the combat shotgun. We might just drop that. Give me these two. <laughs> oh, thanks, Lusty. I know, especially yesterday after it happened. I just had somebody come in. And, and the thing that makes me mad, too, about like self-promoting... Uh, after, after it happens, you guys, the self-promotion doesn't even matter to me anymore. Um, it's what happens afterwards. And a lot of time... I know it sounds horrible, but... I'm just, I'm the type of person that if I offend somebody, I say sorry right away. I'm like, oh my bad, I'm sorry, I didn't know. And you know, I'll say sorry and then I'll explain, you know, my reasoning or if I was just joking or whatever. Um, you know, or if I really offended them, I'll just be like, man, I'm really, really sorry. I apologize, won't do that again. But it just seems like when you tell somebody to please stop doing a certain thing or something, a lot of the time, at least in my experience, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say a lot of the time when I've told people, you know, things that bother me or, you know, they're breaking a rule on stream or something, I have not received an apology from hardly anybody. Not not even like a quick like, oh I'm sorry, not even like a oh my bad. Nothing. Usually when I tell somebody something in, in chat, like, look, you're self-promoting, I don't wanna hear it. 
for some reason, there's never a sorry. It's always like, oh, you misunderstood me. I'm not trying to self, oh, you misunderstood. Oh, you must have read my comment wrong. Oh, it's your, f it's pretty much like, it's my fault that I feel bad about it. I don't know, it just blows my mind. That's like my biggest pet peeve, or that's one of my big pet peeves is that a lot of times people won't apologize. Like, I mean, maybe they don't feel like they're wrong, but it's like if somebody tells you that you like offended them or hurt their feelings, I don't know, I always apologize. But when people don't apologize to me, I kind of notice that and I'm like, this person is just gonna be one of those that tries to explain away, you know, all their issues and problems. It's never gonna be their fault that they offend somebody. It's always gonna be that other person's fault, you know? And so sometimes I hate being rude, but I don't really like talking to those type of people because I'm, I'm not that type of person. I'm the type of person that if I do hurt your feelings, uh, whether it was accident or on purpose what or whatever, I will mind? apologize. It won't be on purpose, but um, I mean, I'll never offend anybody on purpose. It'll always be an accident, but um, I'll always apologize too. So if somebody, I let, I let a few sentences go by and if uh, the person that I got mad at doesn't apologize or they're just like putting all the blame on me, then unfortunately I do get a little mad. <laughs> yes, by all means, it true. let's. All right, hold that for me, please. And that heavy incinerator that we repaired a little bit, that's good too. Cool. Let's go. And I shall follow. I know, I hate being that person too. <laughs> oh gosh. I know. I'm so sorry, Lusty, but uh, I think that day that you raided, I had uh, I had to like yell, not yell at somebody, but honestly just tell them like, look, I don't like it when you talk about your stream, you come in here, you talk about your damn stream all the time. And then when I say that, instead of getting like an automatic like, oh crap, I'm sorry, so you know, I'm not gonna, I won't do that again, my bad. I shouldn't be talking about my stream. You know, I don't get that from anyone. I always get... Oh, you misunder- Oh, you must have misread my comment. Oh, I wasn't talking about my stream, never. And I always read their comment. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? You literally just said I am streaming now. No? And I'll send them the screenshots. Oh, you misunderstood. I'm like, what do you mean I misunderstood? I can read. There we are. <laughs> F those people to the demon. Uh. I think it's like, it's like a weird syndrome that nice people have. Nice people are nice, but man, if you cross us like too many times, we turn into evil, vile people. <laughs> or at least I do, unfortunately. I'm always really cool with people that I meet, you know, right off the bat and stuff. Oh my goodness, dogs! Woo! Where's my beaten stick? <laughs> Get fisted! This is technically Fisto, the power fist. I'll go ahead and show you. See? Right there. Ooh, yeah, you so. Yup, and Lusty's also working on Dark Souls. Woo -woo. I know. Exactly. Exactly, Lusty. <laughs> that makes me bl my blood boil too, and I try to control it as best as I can, demon. I do, I do, I do. But, um, God, after so many years of every single stream, like, literally, you guys, yesterday, the day before, and today, today, the first person who came in was like, I started streaming again. I'm like, oh, God. And the worst part is that it's people that I know. It's people that I do like and stuff, and it's, I don't know. I mean, it's right there on the rules. But yeah, there is weird communication breakdown on streams. And it's really hard, you know, reading text. You don't know if people are joking or if they're being serious. I once had somebody tell me to take that ugly mask off. <laughs> I wasn't wearing a mask, so I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. What's up, Robux? How are you doing? <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I mean, you know, it's really, really hard to tell if people are being serious or sarcastic. <laughs> nice fist. Yeah, and then you got streamers like me that are all, you know, once you know my peeves and stuff, really easy to press some buttons. I, I have a lot of patience, but certain things I'm like, all right, I'm done. I know, demon, too many people are accidentally self promoing you know. 
Yeah, I know. It's like, why am I the one that's misunderstanding? That's how it was all last night. I had this argument with somebody that he said, um, he was telling us, you know, about he had a really bad time recently. And, I, you know, we, got, we all got sad in stream. We all felt bad. We gave him, you know, condolences and things like that. Um, but then again, you know, then he's just like, and he's been here before and he's just, you know, oh, by the way, that's okay. I started streaming again and stuff. And I'm like, I just told him simply like, can you please not mention the stream? I mean, that's, I don't know. That's just one thing that's been bothering me. And then from the and it would have been fine had he just been like, oh, my bad. You know, I won't do it again. Sorry. Or just even an, oh, my bad. I won't do that. Or just my bad. But no, he's like, oh, you misunderstood me. I'm like, what do you mean I misunderstood? It literally says right there, I started streaming again. And what does my rule say? Don't mention your stream. <laughs> I don't know. It's just crazy. But like I said, I gotta not take it too seriously. Oh, what did he throw? Somebody threw something. Wait, don't kill him, Fox. I have terrible aim right now, but I want a shot. Oh, darn it. Well, I pretend to try. <laughs> hey, Frosty, thank you for the biddies. Woo! My gardening streams. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's my gardening streams right there. Yo, what's up, Frosty? How are you? All right, let me just check. Nobody's around. Good. Thank you for the biddies, Frosty Flanks with the 100. I'm doing good, too. How are you doing? <laughs> Soil escape. I guess so. I know, and that's what I was saying, Hell Demon. I'm gonna have to go like zero tolerance. But I do have a new new command. If anybody does get timed out by evil soul, is it? Oops. I think I I think it's time out. There we are. So if I do ever ban anybody or time them out, I will put this in chat, and it'll say, Oh my God, somebody got timed. If that was you, please scroll down, and. Uh, check the rules to see which one was broken if you feel there was a mistake please contact me after the stream to explain don't ask about what or don't ask about why you were timed during the stream because <laughs> i have so many people i've tried to do the method where i just ban somebody and just out of sight out of mind but then i get all of these notification all of these notification sounds and that's that person messaging me on discord or on twitter or on instagram and, uh, and usually it's either to argue or say, wow, you're a bitch. Why'd you time me out for, you damn whore? <laughs> I've heard it all, oh lord. And then they expect afterwards too, after they call you all these mean names, they come back a few days later and they're like, I'm really sorry. So that's when they apologize. Then they're like, man, I'm really sorry for calling you all that terrible stuff. It was my bad. I'm like, well, yeah, well, now I'm a, a mean old dirty whore, according to you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, my elephant memory never forgets. So then I'm like, oh, there's that person that called me that word. How dare they? No. <laughs> oh, man. Too good. Thank you, Frosty. By the way, I forgot to give you your actual stream song notification. We'll just repeat one that we did earlier. I know, I know, and that's hard. Because then I have that choice, too. It's like, how long have I known that person? Have I seen them in stream a lot? You know, if I do, then I kind of, I'm a little bit more lenient. Like, oh, right, well, that person, they might have just gotten drunk that one night or something. Said things that they shouldn't have said. <laughs> cool. Frosty Flanks, thank you for the 100 biddies. Manual stream notification activated. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <clears throat> and deactivated. <laughs> and now reactivated. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Shh, wrong one. Okay, there you go. Sorry, I was on the wrong version. <clears throat> version 2.0. Here we go.
last days of my life. Or is it the last hours of my life? Anyways, that's Oblivion. Yay, thank you Frosty Flanks. You were too kind. Oh my God, more videos! holy crap. 211 or 202 videos right there. Oh my goodness, so many videos! Wow, dude. Thank you so much, Frosty. Well, I only have another song that I know. Oh no, here comes all my songs, oh God. <laughs> that was Oblivion. Morrowind for Frosty Flanks. And just for fun. <laughs> Yay! That was the only three songs I know. <laughs> At least right now off the top of my head. Thank you so much Frosty Flanks for the biddies galore dude! That's crazy. We actually don't have the biddies notification. That's why I bring out the clarinet and stuff. <laughs> That's insane. Was I out of tune? Uh, phenomenon? I could have been out of tune. I could have been out. Thank you so much, Frosty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holy snap, Frosty. Like nine, ten, ten bucks. Wow. Thank you for the thousand and two biddies. Holy crap. That's a lot of biddies. Thank you so much. Thank you, Frosty. You're a blessing, dude. Huge breasting. Breasting. You're a breasting. <laughs> You're a huge blessing. Woo. That's really cool. Thank you, guys. And thanks for being here, Escapees. I appreciate it. I wish I could stay longer, too. Oh, thank you, Frosty. I, I'm trying. I'm, I am trying, guys. <laughs> I know, sometimes I do get down, sometimes I feel, uh, you know, a little bit sad and stuff, but I always do try to look at the positive, you know, like yesterday I had a mean tweet up and then I was like, I thought about it after, you know, a couple, like 30 minutes or so, and, uh, and I was like, no, you know, I can't let the experience, you know, one bad experience ruin it for everybody, and even if it's several bad experiences, not everybody is, you know, mean, not everybody wants to just go to other streams to self-promote. Some people want to actually hang out and learn who you are or, you know, just visit your stream and stuff. Okay, so we got a couple of sewers that we can go into. I think since we're close... Well, I know the, the dang thing gets really confusing because I have to go through this sewer. Oh, if I want to go over here. Wait. Or I can go this way. Wait. Let me follow these dots here. So we can go this way, this way, to get to the Museum of History. As long as I get to the Museum of History, that's what I need to do. So let's go to Georgetown West. Let me put my marker there. I could just fast travel too, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> now I don't even know where the quest is. Hmm. Oh, thank you for the one and one and 100 biddies. Thank you so much, Frosty. You were the best. Woo! I was practicing at one time uh, the X Files song. The boo, 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 boo. I don't think I can do it though. I forgot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's not the clarinet.
not Xbox, but, I mean, not X-Files, but this other song. <laughs> I don't know. This is a recorder. Sounds a lot different from this Dollar Tree recorder, I'll tell you what. If you don't think there's a difference, there definitely is. See, less you would know the difference between Dollar Tree instruments and instruments that you pay a little bit extra money for. <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. Oh, thank you, Robux. You're kind. I actually have my hair up a little bit because usually I have a lot more bang and it's like covers my entire eyeball. And so I'm constantly like, whoosh, whoosh. People ask me sometimes, is there something wrong with your eye? And I'm like, no, not necessarily. Well, why do you cover it up so? I don't know, it's just the style. <laughs> oh my goodness, I've not seen Naruto with the clarinet battle theme. Thank you for the claps, Lusty. Speaking of that, you guys, I do want to say shout out to Lusty. He is awesome, you guys. He is also a streamer that plays music. Legit music, though. He can do the, uh, the computer stuff, all of it. All of it. He has guitars hanging on his wall. Very, very cool, dude. Thank you for all the help throughout the years, too, yeah, Lusty. You've been a real one, my friend. You've been a real one. And he's also... Okay, so sometimes I give... Not, not tips, but I do tell people the way that I... And it's not like I'm not some evil person trying to gain followers or anything. But I do give people tips on how I have found followers. And one of them that I like to say a lot is find a community on Twitch that you really, really like and you really enjoy and just be kind of active there. The way I met Lusty Bard is actually through another Twitch streamer uh, that we both watch every now and then, Sour Kool-Aid Show. If it weren't for, oh Jesus, oh God, the Enclave. If it weren't for SKS, uh, I would not know who Lusty is, unfortunately. It might have taken a little bit longer. I might have had to watch uh, Mud stream or uh, maybe Mud would have had to host me. Lusty found me through Mud. You know, it would have been a lot more difficult is what I'm saying. But, oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, uh, get me a new weapon. Okay. But since, you know, we were both in the same channel, somehow we found each other. <laughs> and I think that's awesome. But yeah, that's, you know, one way besides promoting yourself in other people's streams you just join a community and honestly be kind of active if you really really like that community uh, I'm gonna watch them battle it out let these guys fight but if you really watch the or if you really like that community and you make a couple of funny comments here and there sometimes people will click on your name they'll be like who made this funny comment or who said this dumb thing <laughs> and then you figure out oh is this person in the stream hmm I might check them out later Talent Company versus Enclave. Are you fighting too? Where are you at, Fox? Oh, I think Fox got into it. Oh, oh god, oh no. Oh, they spotted me. I've been spotted. Fine, I'll take this guy out then. We'll go hand to hand. Oh no. Oh gosh, oh jeez. Oh, I'm taking a couple. Who's shooting me now? Oh, the rest of the Enclave peeps. Oh, jeez. Alright. Yeah, they're... Oh, God. They're sentry bot. Get out of here, sentry bot. I was having a good time without you. I gotta... Use my other weapon, dammit. Oh, jeez. Alright, I'm about to croak here. I know, and I actually gotta use my stim packs. This is ridiculous. You wonder why I'm zigzagging and stuff, because I don't want to stay right in front of him. He'll just shoot me down. Will you die already on Clay Soldier? You got like one HP, dude. You've been holding on. You've been holding on way too long, my friend. This guy over here with his damn incinerator. <laughs> Gonna set the whole neighborhood on fire. Put that away. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. He almost dead. He almost dead. Come on, come on. Okay. Alright, there you are. <laughs> now he's a nice puddle of goo. Excellent. I love the plasma rifle too. Pew, pew, pew. I do love the laser rifle as well. Pew, pew, pew. 
weaponized ASMR. We all gotta love the sound of the AR. Or the flamer. Flamer is nice. I was just joking about the AR. <laughs> the AR wakes us up. The flamer is just like a big fart. Like one of those airy farts. All right, I'm out of here. I'm not even gonna stick around. No, 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 no. They've been dropping too many people lately. <laughs> Say goodbye to the enclave. Damn bird of birds. <laughs> but you know what? I if I could shoot you from here, I would. Uh, eat that. Good. Rusty Bucket, thank you for the hundred. Oh no! Thank you for the hundred biddies though. Ah, uh, no, we just still been running over to the museum. I think I'm gonna have to fast travel, you guys. I know, because it is already like almost 6.30. I do want to be back on stream at 9 p.m. Uh, but I do want to have like a little break here, so. Cause my butt hurts, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I sit on my bed, that's my fault, but. But you know how it is. LTJ, welcome to the stream. Oh man, I'm sorry if I missed you up there. Welcome to the, I did, you said hello, been a long time. Uh, thank you so much, LT. I know I will not stop, Lusty. You are an amazing musician. He is, you guys. Uh, Good to see you, LT. Welcome back. Did you have a name change? I'm just curious. Yeah, that's what I want to do, Lusty. Like I was telling Stream, it's like, man, I'm here to have fun and I'm here to, like, I'm really appreciative of the conversations that we do have in chat. It's really cool. I'm very glad that I was able to meet at least, you know, a lot of you guys out there. It's always just those one or two bad apples. Exactly. Just make good friends and good things can happen. Don't manipulate people. Just hang out and share. True. Very, very true. The <laughs> machine gun sound is the alarm clock. <laughs> and Sir Remy with the raid. Holy snap. Thank you, Remy. What's up? Remy raid coming in. Oh man, I'm sorry, LT. Please then I, I apologize. Uh, no, no name change for LT. Thank you, Rusty Bucket, too. Thank you, Remy. How are you doing? Let's see what Rem was streaming. He is another... Oh, 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 wait. That's right. I remembered Remy. I stopped myself. Uh, but yes, Remy is also an awesome caster, you guys. Oh, he's playing some Oxygen Not Included. Nice. I've also seen him play uh, a couple, actually quite a few multiplayer games and co-op games with Leo. Uh, if you guys remember Soy Leo, I believe he did have a, a name change. So Soy Leo is now... I can't remember exactly, but Remy knows. Uh, Underworld, we're going to the Museum of History. I need to pick up a picture so that this guy that likes to restore things can see what the Lincoln Memorial looked like before it got destroyed. Leo Pugs, there we go. I can't believe I forgot. Man. Remy, Nimrod, Jedi, a lot of those awesome casters, you guys. Uh, like I was telling Sparky and Nim or excuse me, Jedi and um, Nimi and stuff. I'm like, man, I need to uh, wake up earlier so I can catch y'all streams. But now I know Sir Remethy streams around this time too, so yay. But yeah, I gotta get up I'm early. Here. I know that Leo streams back. early too. Oh gosh. And by early, I just mean like 9 a.m. my time, which isn't that early. <laughs> It's just for me, I'm like, <sighs> passed out till noon, which I don't want to be, but unfortunately, <sighs> I've been going to bed a little bit late. But anyways, how was your stream, uh, Rem? How are you doing? I'm just working on a mission right now. I'm helping some escaped slaves from the Temple Union. Yes. One of them wants to uh, re... Gosh, I just said it to remake but a different word. Repair, but a different word. Gosh, I just said it, I can't remember. Anyways, they wanna, they wanna fix up the Lincoln Memorial. Oh, restore, there we go, docile. Um, he wants to restore the Lincoln Memorial, but he needs a picture or photograph of it. And I've been through the Museum of History. Oh, oh that's right, we can just, this is open over here. 
I've been through the Museum of History, but I guess I didn't pick up this picture though. <laughs> don't please, oh don't. I wish I could rev. I have tr enough trouble with the uh, the other streamers I watch too, like some of the uh, the medium sized streamers. Oh gosh. Like that dude we were talking about, Sour Kool Aid Show. One of my favorite casters, but he always changes his stream time. Well, I, actually, it's been a lot level lately. But um, back when he was having some issues with his uh, wife and stuff, ex wife, um, he had a crazy schedule too, where it was like he'd be on in the morning, he'd be on at night. And I'd be like, damn it, I want to watch you DP. I don't know when to stream though, because you're always streaming. <laughs> but I feel you, Remy, I've done that before. Where I do try to like schedule my stuff around other streamers. <laughs> uh. Yeah, did you hear that? Uh, Fox goes, the air smells dangerous. It smells like old stuff. I think it smells, I think maybe, I mean, I love my character, but she might've let some gas out. I don't know. I think trouble would smell like gunpowder. True. True for an actual answer demon. He might smell like some smoke. He smells the fear, the blood of his enemies. No, the sweat. The fear and the sweat of his enemies. Okay, so I'm following the quest marker here. There seems to be two, so I'm kind of... Oh, is it that big-ass thing right in front of me? It's the big-ass thing right in front of me. How could I miss that the first time? That's crazy. That's a huge poster. Cool. Maybe it was the battle with the ghouls or something. I was too excited shooting. <laughs> Definitely happened. Alright, let me just take this. <laughs> Rip it off the wall. Good. Exactly, Lusty. I know, and I was... Man, there's so many conundrums with streaming. I love streaming, but I also love being a viewer. I know. I really, really like being a viewer on Twitch. Um, just for example, with Sour Kool-Aid Show, once I learned that he was a really cool dude and he wasn't going to get mad, because I do know some streamers that get mad as well, <laughs> um, you know, if you say anything wrong or whatever. But uh, with DP, it's like you can almost, I was able, I was free to be my weird sarcastic self in his stream. And I loved it. And I still love it. That's why it's like, man, it's really hard sometimes when we're streaming at the same time. I'm like, oh, I'm missing show but also if I don't stream then you know my show goes to heck so I feel you lusty it's all about people who want custom changing on the fly schedules true can't keep up with each other we have friends all over the world exactly different time zones different life plans like just today I was supposed to be on at 2 p.m. and I was on discord telling people like okay finally on schedule yes you know and then Mom comes, and it's nobody's fault, you know, I'm not, not complaining, it just sounds like I'm complaining, but I'm just saying. Uh, then mom comes home at about whenever, when I was going to start the stream, and she's like, hey, can you help me with this? I brought some food. So I was like, oh no, you know, oh great, I'm going to have to like chill for an extra hour, you know, the stream's going to be even later. And so it's like every day is a little different, even I got to change my schedule up. Even though I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be here 2 p.m. exactly. It's just the other stuff that we can't control that happens. So I was a little late, unfortunately, but I did bring my food on. Otherwise, I would have been later. <laughs> I ate some chicken on stream earlier. I almost choked too, so I'm gonna get that on a clip. I was talking and I was eating a piece of chicken skin, that crunchy kind, and, uh, <laughs> and lo and behold, it goes down, and I'm like, <coughs> I'm like, oh jeez. I wanted to like block out the camera, but then I was like, no, this is good content. <laughs> No, this is good content. And unfortunately, if I pass, it'll be even better. No. Okay, that was terrible. That was a bad self-deprecating joke right there. I'm just gonna... <laughs> exactly, Sir Remothy. I hope it doesn't smell like Teen Spirit. Oh, Teen Spirit. That's underarm and B.O. That's underarm and butt smell. So LT's been doing Fallout art. That's amazing. Streaming time is going to change, Rem. He said work is about to allow for a schedule change, so my streaming time is about to change too. I almost wrote a song about him. This at the time he was going through all that stuff. Oh, you mean about a DP? Yeah. Told him to drop it. 
I love DP. I love him too. He's a real cool guy. He's super nice. He's funny. He's the person that I want to be like too, where it's like a lot of stuff doesn't offend him. He did get offended last night. One lightly offended, um, and he timed some of them. I almost called her Mama, Mama Kool-Aid. What's his name in chat? Or what's Kool-Aid Mom? So his mom comes in. DP's no came in halfway through the but afterwards some puts in said they pretend sour kool-aid shows mom said i don't know why and uh oh you have an awful audience and that dp a little bit not a why are you putting that in something she was community serious and i was Ooh. i go oh someone made him mad so I bet there's a few people out there too, now that I think about it, that are like, Oh, Soul's mad again! They get the popcorn. Because <laughs> I know I do! If my favorite streamers get mad, sometimes I'm there just, oh. I watch another streamer, Bone Clinks. Terrible, terrible passive aggressiveness. Awful passive aggressiveness. He's even gotten mad at me uh, for reading my comment wrong. <laughs> but I, didn't, I don't dare say that. I'm not like, hey, you wrong. Nope, nope, nope. I just let it go. I'm like, you know, it's hard being a streamer. Sometimes other people say stuff, puts you in a bad yeah, mood. But yeah, I've, I've seen it. I've seen it a lot, you guys. Aw, oh, Frosty, thank you for the 100 biddies. Thank you so much for playing Spitty's Love, Biddy's Hype. And for the, oh my goodness, the 1100 earlier, I believe. Probably even more. Thank you, Frosty Flanks. You are the best. I'm glad your soul goes to see people die. Why are you not entertained? No, I want to see blood. Not till somebody gets bopped in chat. Right, Sir Emmy? Exactly. Oh, I hear you, demon. I had a, an amazing moderator from New Zealand, and we're always on different time zones, so. I was jacking. Good. Post some in-game discussion. I took a shot at it and it ran LT, away. you have any of that Fallout <laughs> art? Uh, and you're on Discord and stuff? Let us know. We have spots to bring shots if you're playing games and stuff. So far, I'm kind of the only one that's <laughs> been using them. Oops. I know, right? Somebody needs to take like a broom. These guys. I mean, they're escape slaves, so granted, they've done a lot of heavy lifting and work in their time, so, you know, it, it makes sense. Like, once you're escaped, you want to chill out a bit. Thank you, new follower. Oh, we're Frosty! Frosty, thanks, going ham. Thank you so much. Holy crap, Frost. One, two, three, four, five. At least another five dollars. Holy s***, dude. <laughs> Thank you so much, Frosty. Man, I really wish I had to be going crazy. It'd be going... Doo -doo -doo -doo. In this in you guys and then okay, I do gotta leave too but I'll be back Watch at 9 p.m. and I think we will finish up this tentacle tentacle of the union tentacle of the union no we'll finish the temple of the union quest thank you so much frosty I appreciate that for frosty flanks nation start up I mess up huh <laughs> entire song. <laughs> Thank you so much, Frosty. You were amazing, dude. You just covered the whole chat. My goodness. Shoot, I forgot that one too. That was a different song. If you guys ever played Tales of Symphonia, that was one of my jams as a kiddo.
knows it's time to eat. Yay. Thank you, Frosty Flanks. You are the best. Rock, thank you for the biddies. I'm sweaty. <laughs> it's hot over here in Washington. But thank you so much, Frosty. I do appreciate that. You are amazing. You're helping out the stream a lot, dude. We've not had that many biddies in God, months, so thank you. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> and thank you guys for being here too, Escapees. It's been a really good stream today. Very, very good stream. Skyrim, I've been trying to learn Dovakin, uh, but it, it is a little bit more difficult. Uh, with Skyrim's theme, at least on the uh, for the clarinet and stuff, it uses a lot of flats and sharps, so it's like a lot of those side keys. Oof. And with those side keys, then it's like, oh, God, we're going to do this a little harder. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you, guys. Yay, thank you, Frosty. That's cool. I appreciate that, you guys. That's really, really cool. I know, right, Demon? That's one of the... I know. See, so I was saying, yeah, these guys, I mean, I can... I can definitely say, you know, they were slaves. I can definitely understand why they would want to break, you know, and not, not fix this crappy place. <laughs> but yeah, come on, man. Look at all that trash around. Really, Demon? It's like these, uh, these wastelands, you know, they spend hours, or like days and days and days out in these same old houses and they never, you know, lift a finger. <laughs> Although I can't say the same about my room. I should probably be cleaning it too. Oops. Yeah, thank you, Demon. All right, let's turn this in, you guys. Then I'll call it uh, are grateful for any help a night for this stream, and then we'll come back at nine, though. Yay! I want to see if DP's on. Speaking of him, all right, let's see. You have a picture, and such Glad a that large poster. one too. <laughs> I'll have no problems restoring the memorial with this. Yeah, it's a big thank picture. You. Cool. Darn, I should have put that in my house. <laughs> Okay, cool. So he's the guy that is the, he's the masonry dude. So he works on stone and fixing stuff. Okay. He wanted that picture so that he could restore Lincoln's memorial. Uh, oh, look at that. They took the head. I was going to say the head's right here. <laughs> well, I'm guessing Caleb or one of the main dudes has it. And they want to bring the head back to the actual uh, Lincoln Memorial down at DC, which is over here somewhere, right? Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and fix that. But the thing with the Lincoln Memorial is that uh, somebody gave word to the slavers that are all, you know, set up there. And I actually have met these slavers. I've, I talked to them, but I forgot what they said. I think they told me about these escaped slaves up here, but I'm not, I don't know. I'm not sure what they want. Well, be so, well okay, let's just put two and two together here, Soul. <laughs> what would slavers want with ex-slaves? Uh, probably to put them back. So uh, I'm assuming that's probably what's going to happen. Hannibal, this uh, escape slave that I'm talking to, he says that Hannibal's an escapee, now that I think about it. Hannibal the escapee says that I am supposed to, I guess I have to take sides now, I'm supposed to go and make the Lincoln Memorial as safe as possible, no matter how it needs to be done. So I'm thinking he means to go and uh, he wants me to go slaughter them. So I think we'll do that in a few hours, you guys. Yay! I know, I feel you, Demon. Once there's like enough junk in my room, even a little junk, I start getting like a little bit irritated too. <laughs> I feel you, and then I gotta throw it away. I have to clean it. It happens with my uh, mail too. Once my mail starts piling up, I'm like, oh, snowballing debt. <laughs> Someone got head, oh God, they did. Somebody got head, literally. <laughs> That's terrible. Puts a collar back on you. Okay, so we gave Caleb the, uh, the, the picture. Good to see you. Everybody's talking at once. Everything is done. I can hardly believe it. Everything's done. We did one thing. The dream. We'll start out within the hour. We'll meet Wait. you at the site. No, what are you doing? Thanks for the picture. Oh, it's Jesus. Me a lot no. Wait, you guys aren't ready to go? I mean, I hope they don't think that it's safe to go because those slavers, I have not dealt with them. Hey, 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 hey. I've not dealt with the slavers, Hannibal. Oh, Jesus. They're still there. I just got the picture. It's a disaster. <laughs> it's happening again. Stay here, stay here. 
Oh no, now the Brahmin's gonna die too. Whose Brahmin is this? Mine now. No, rides the Brahmin away. See you later. Alright, anyways, close that door. No, you get stay back there. in there. Yes, you stay there. No, don't take the dog. Please don't bring the dog. No, close the door. Get in there. Alright, we'll save it. <laughs> They're gonna stay nice and tucked in until I'm ready. Here, I'll, I'll save it right there. This is right. This is the moment where I rigged um, Republic of Dave's ballots. I mean, the election turned out a different way somehow. There was no rigging. Mm -mm. Okay, good, good, good. All right, escapees. We'll end it there for now. We did help out a little bit of the Temple of the Union quest. Picked up that lovely map for our friend, and we saw a whole bunch of crazy stuff, dude. I need. I got to get on some highlights right now. I got to get that clip where I was choking on some chicken. <laughs> Um, I need the clip where the death claw flies up the first time, and then I need the clips where the death claw flies up on fire that second time. There's some weird stuff that we saw. Weird stuff. Hey, well, thank you for staying here, you guys. Kicking it with me for a little bit. It is currently 7.45 right now, so, excuse me, 6.45. Uh, so I'll be back on about 9. I mean, I am off. I'm a little late today, so I might be on maybe 9.15, maybe 9.30, maybe 9. 9.45 or so, but I'll definitely be on uh, sometime before midnight until about midnight, and that's Pacific Standard Time. Real quick, let me do the spiel. Oh, are you the best, Lusty? Oh, I don't even have to type it in. Nightbot's got my back. So right there, Nightbot just posted some links. Uh, that is my spam self-promotion. Only place I will ever promote my channel is on my own channel and on my own social media. If you're not other streamers, I will never come into your stream and be like, I'm streaming! <laughs> That's terrible, why would I do that? Thank you so much, guys. If you want, please consider hitting that follow button. We did get a couple of followers today. Thank you very, very much for that. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff if you like. Uh, once again, those links are in chat. If you do miss them, you can find me at Soulscape, capital S-A-U-L, underscore three S-C four. Do you have a Snapchat open and available to the public? That one is Solar Escape, S O U L 0 U R 3 S C A P E. And my uh, gamer tag down there, I do stream directly from the Xbox. That is Soul Space Escape. If you want to follow me on that, capital S U L Space 3 S C 4 P 3. Do you have merchandise available as well? I actually am wearing the Soul Stream shirt yet again. I haven't washed it yet. <laughs> Shh. But yeah, it's quarantine. Leave me alone. <laughs> But if you want some merch and stuff, uh, never any pressure, but feel free to check it out, you guys. Streamlabs.com slash Lilescape slash merch. Don't know how much longer we'll have that up, because uh, I think my year is expiring now. Currently at 8,900 followers. Thank you so much, you guys. I couldn't have done it without all of your help, your hosts, your retweets, the raids from today. Thank you, Sir Remy. Thank you, Venom. And thank you, Frosty Flanks, for the, uh, gosh, the, that was like 1,500 biddies today. I do appreciate that. Let me, uh, the actual number. Damn! Wow! Thank you, Frosty Flanks, for the 22... 2250 bitties. Holy snap! I don't appreciate that. 3SC4P3! 3SC4P3! I know, sometimes I even have the hand motions now, Lusty. L-U-S-T-Y underscore B-A-R-D. Can you imagine? Yep, you got the underscore too, dude. You'd have to hold the cards and be like, L-U-S-T-Y underscore B-A-R-D. That's how I am with the underscore. I'm like, underscore. Oh god. <laughs> See you later, Lusty. Oh, I love your. I love that. I love your tombstone emote. Oh, it's all good, Lusty. It's all good. <laughs> oh, no worries. I know. I get a lot of stuff. I, I get a lot of guff about that. Where, um, like, one of my IRL friends, Quibby Room, he's like, why do you make your name so complicated? <laughs> and I thought about it, I was like, you're right, a lot of people probably, not that they can't spell, you know, the crazy way I spell escape, but they probably don't want to, you know, because it is kind of annoying. Uh, but it did make me think, I was like, you're right, my name is confusing here. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, bye Lusty, I'll catch you on the next stream, or catch you on DP's channel if he's live. Woo -woo. Uh, right now, I'm just going to check to see if we can host anybody else. Oh, yes. Oh, I have somebody that I really want to host. 
Uh, let's throw some love, you guys, to all achievements unlocked. Yet another friend I've met through Sour Kool-Aid Show's channel. Just by chatting. Just by chatting, my friends. Alright, so we're gonna jump in over here. If you want to join in the, on the raid, please consider doing so. If not, that's okay to you guys. I'll see you in a couple hours. Or Fallout, if you want. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, here's the raid command right there. Depending on if you have our emotes or not, feel free to pick one of those. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back hopefully around 9pm, maybe 9.30, maybe 10pm. But I will be back tonight. Have a good one, you guys. Read up all. Achieve. Events. Yay, I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Peace and love. And thank you so much for kicking it with me. As always, my friends, ever onward, ever forward. Catch you on the next little stream. Bye, Lusty. Bye, everybody. See you later, LT. Bye, Demon. Catch you later, Sir Remy. Bye Frosty Flakes, thank you again Frosty, thank you Rem for the raid. Alright, just scrolling up, looks like everybody, bye Robux! Alright you guys, peace, see you next time. It's a raid.